Hey, um, just quick, quick thing, guys. Uh, I've noticed that uh, Distortion Devil is being really quiet for a while, and I think that's a bit sus. Oh, come mm. the fuck no, on. No, Are no, you no, serious? No. No. Mm. No, Plunner, I saw Plunner, you chasing you me towards the button. You can't have every task in a communications and admin. You have to go other places. Listen, I'm just really fucking ecstatic about the fact that you guys didn't kick me out the first time because I really wanted to hit the emergency button. I hit the emergency button and I wanted to tell you guys all about the trivial lore about Baby's Day Out development. It was really important. Okay, My tests all, are fucking done. Thank you very much. No, I'm right the, here. Do, do you think the three bad guys from Baby's Day Out would be good at Among Us? Goomba saw me med scan. Yeah. Goomba, did, Goomba, did you see him med scan? He's dead. Uh -oh. Yeah, oh, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Look, dude, purple killed me when y'all weren't looking. Well, then mute your mic. Fuck yeah, you <laughs> listen. listen oh, yo, wait, you, you listen here. My, my color is orange. Just because my name is purple doesn't mean I'm automatically the killer. You trying to throw uh, everybody off? Those people. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Unexpectables. Featuring, fe fe featuring, featuring us. We're joined yeah. by such enigmatic personalities like Monty. Thanks. Thanks, Kurt. That was good. I think that was a pretty wow. good introduction. Thanks. <laughs> I know where you live, and you are within walking distance. No, I'm... Yeah, like you'd walk that walk. You'd say that. I've walked farther. You'd expect me to drive you back, though. That's the fucking... That <laughs> you'd be like, I'm here to get revenge <laughs> and a ride! That, that, that's your penance. She, she opens the door and says, fuck you, drive me home. <laughs> <laughs> that's the punishment. That's the punishment right there. All right, oh. take it away, Nadine. Oh, I oh I'm introducing myself. Hello, uh, I'm Monty Glue. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, uh, where I post pictures of my fat frog. I just want to update anyone who doesn't follow me on Twitter. My frog Gerps is getting huge, and I'm very excited oh, for this development. Big frog. He's so fat. Gerp. I didn't feed him last night, though. I need to feed him today. But he, he EA he, Sports big. He's big. Oh, <laughs> um, damn. I, I think Gerps might not be a he. I think Gerps might be a she. But I'm ah. time. yeah, because the lady frogs they get uh, they get quite hefty. <sighs> but you can find oh. me at Monty Glue. I'm working on a helmet right now that I can wear on streams and in interviews, so that way I don't have to just be on microphone. I can actually physically be there. Um, so if you want to see updates on that as well, I'm posting on there. It's a kit that I got from Cryberg Studios, and it's been a blast working on it. Um, and also, I'm, I'm thinking about progressing on my uh, corn army because I I want to paint minis again. Um, mm -hmm. And I've gotten over all, all 40 of the blood letters I painted. And then you can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue, where tomorrow um, I am very trepidatious, but we're going into Devil May Cry 4. I did <laughs> not beat Devil May Cry 3. Devil May Cry beat me. Oh. I, want you to, I want you to know, guys, as someone who drove Monty around, I heard a lot about Devil May Cry. And uh, <laughs> some swear words tossed in there as well. It was really odd. I just... The first game I really liked. I really liked the first game. The second game I just did not enjoy, and I feel bad because I know people. That's like people's favorite, but I just for me. The I second like one? It. What? Sorry, the third one. The third one. We say. The oh. One. <laughs> the, yeah. the second. The second one she played. I was about to I say did. the second one. You could not be more wrong on what people think about the second one. I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't subject her to two. I would actually get sick because there's a there's an underwater feature that you can swim underwater as first person, and it makes me so motion sick. That oh, I that sounds so terrible. That sounds yeah. like something you would find in Devil so, May Cry too. Even even if I were to like play it, I probably couldn't physically play because I would probably get sick. So we played three. I didn't beat three. I finished three. I'm done. I don't want to play it anymore. Um. So we're moving on to four, and we're. I'm putting it on baby easy mode because for, 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 like... for you you thought you thought you thought this was anime. Remember that time you played number four? It's oh. about to get a whole heck of a lot more anime, Nadine. I will say this: I like the characters and I did like the cutscenes a lot. Um, I did enjoy that about three. Like I, I do like that element. It was just the gameplay that sometimes I was just like, mm. but I'll get over it. And Connor will maybe be my friend again. Um, but that'll be on Thursday. <laughs> Big uh, ask. I, right? Uh, that'll be on Thursday. Uh, but on Sundays, I'm, I'm really, really, really enjoying playing Final Fantasy IX. Um, if you guys haven't caught my streams of Final Fantasy IX, they are, I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but they're very, very fun and very entertaining and very enjoyable. They're really comfy, too. Um, I'm voice acting all the characters. The story is really, really great. Um, and you can pick whether you're Team DV or Team Steiner with your bits or your subs or whatever. Or you could get a follow and randomly get it. It's pretty fun, so definitely check that out. That's not the right seven. Important uh, question. How long did it take for you to get the staff? Because I was there for the tail end of that. 
Oh my god. I Okay. So I have a guide. I'm following a guide because I want to make, you know, the progression as painless as possible. I say that now. Um you do need to steal items to be relevant um in some cases and I needed this particular rod that would teach VV, I think it was Fyra. It was like a flame rod or an ice rod that would teach him basically the tier 2 of the spell. And I had to steal it. Um, and it took probably, I want to say at least 30 to 40 individual steel, like rounds of combat to, to, to eventually steal that, that piece of shit. So if you Yikes. like that, come check it out. We went ape shit though when we got it. It was like, it was like, there it is, there it is. Ah! That was great. It was really fun. Anyway, that's it for me. Sorry. Uh, small aside, I know something was announced for <clears throat> Devil May Cry today. If I see anybody talking about it or spoiling anything in chat, I'll time you out. There's an entire version where D Dante's just wearing a bathrobe that's open. You mean DMC, DMC? <laughs> yeah, but but it's blurred. You mean DMC, DMC? <laughs> are, they re are they bringing that back? Why? No, God, no. <laughs> Why? Didn't the bad guy fuck the world in that one already? Like, I don't know. Okay, but Connor, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me uh, over on Twitter and Twitch at Distortional. Uh, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. You've heard me talk about it before. I'm going to fucking do it again. Uh, it's Dead House Sonata oh, September giveaway. If you like vampires, if you like action RPGs, if you like uh, cooperative, narratively driven games where your choices matter, uh, then Dead House Sonata is the game for you. And let me just say right off the bat that... If you haven't already purchased a Founders Pack at this link right here that I just posted in the chat, you know, then be sure to tune into twitch.tv slash distortion devil uh, or twitch the link. Is it the same so, link as mine? Yes. Then yes. <laughs> then yes. <laughs> click that wall if you can, guys. It'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> click the wall. It's big enough. Speaking of mid-roll ads, hoo-hoo. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, we'll, 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 we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Go to twitch.tv slash Varric Khaldun, Sailor Midgard, Faceless Mike, <clears throat> Distortion Devil. Uh, for every 15 subs that each of those channels get, we'll be giving away one Risen Founders Pack for Deadhouse Sonata at the end of the month. And we've already got quite a few people that are on board for this. So, and thank you all so much for stopping by each of those streams and supporting not only each of these streamers, but Dead House Sonata itself. We've got a lot of exciting things coming down the pipeline for that. So stick around for that. Goomba, where can they find you? Oh, man, you can find me literally everywhere uh, as Gaijin Goomba, but specifically twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. I got two big announcements. Um, big announcement number one, the Kappa race, the Kappa Yokai race is pretty much done. I'm literally just waiting on art. So... Probably not this week, but hopefully by next Wednesday, it will be available on DMs Guild. Um, it looks really, really good. Uh, where before I had a couple of little flavor spells to help make the race a little bit better, it's going to be a whole bunch of uh, sub races. Uh, don't want to spoil too much. Uh, you can pick that up, please. It's really good. Uh, second one, I'm starting a new YouTube channel. Um, oh. I've been working. I've been working on this. Uh, may I? May May I spam it in 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 the in the chat? A Absolutely. new YouTube channel. What? But, but you already have one. Uh, but see, this one I can care less. <laughs> uh, but no, that's a joke. No. Um, I've spent almost a decade talking about like culture and games and anime, and I wanted to start a channel where I just talk about stuff that's happening uh like like with japan with anime uh but more specifically a lot of my experiences uh the first one that i'm going to be putting out is essentially why english and anime pisses me off so much uh but that actually is going to have a lot to do with my experience in the education system in japan and so forth and so on and so forth oh that's going to be really interesting so that's and it's 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 going to be tied to Japan Sinks that one uh, Netflix anime that came out two months ago. That's by that triggered that that triggered ten years of repression that I just vomited in the, into a camera for like a half hour. Uh, but it's it's I put a lot of heart into it. Um, that again will probably be out next week. I'm hoping. Uh, the video is just about done. I just need to make sure that best foot forward and all that. So I, I appreciate your support, guys. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. Zeta, where can they find you? 
Oh, yes. Hi. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito. CZ Backlash on Twitter, where I lose my shit over the stupidest fucking sentence ever uttered today. Fazbear Containment Breach. I I, am, I, I I was so fucking done. I couldn't watch the rest of the presentation. What I heard, Fazbear Containment Breach. No, but, but the, it's because you were so excited and the rest of the thing couldn't be topped, right? <laughs> sure. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> Oh my god. So, and you can also find me on Patreon, which is the Ever Ingot Almanac. Uh, big, big, big oof update on the Almanac and big O update on the Almanac. I am aware that I have been skipping on my uh, D&D content as it late because I've been working on other art stuff. Because, uh, you know, I want to open up commissions and everything on there. So, art has taken a little bit more of a predominant step on the Patreon. I get that. I am dropping the Hanu because I don't feel like they're up to snuff. Uh, unfortunately, that means I kind of just like had a sunken cost fallacy of two months worth of work. But don't worry, I have a backup. Uh, you know that one plant thing, Palmon from Digimon. What mm -hmm. if you were? Yeah. What if you? The is it the the cactus one? Yeah. Yeah. Palmon. Yeah. Uh, what if I made a race that was all that? You just get to play a cactus. I would say, uh, mm, I can't wait to play a cactar then. I was mm. going to make oh, no, that's, 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 that is what it's called. That's Togemon. The cactus is Togemon. Yep, Palmon digivolves into Anytime Togemon. I we all about, know this. It's fine. Anytime I think about cactuses, I, I get angry because it reminds me of the time I watered a cactus for like months and it turned out not to. Oh be man, <laughs> then then this homebrew might be for you, Monty, and I'm also probably going to make it's it. Play as a fake cactus. No, it's. It's a long story. No, no I'm, I'm going to push it in your face. Look at it. I want you to look at it forever. It reminds me of the time that I, 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 I wasted my love. <laughs> okay. Uh, last thing I can announce. Uh, Thursday. Uh, well, Thursday I'm going to be playing Among Us with the guys over at TFS. Oh, I'll, I'll get that here too in a second. Uh, there's that. Uh, more. Uh, I got my commissions in for my Patreon, so I'll be doing that on stream. More cart. And a marble stream at some point because I it's I believe enough time has passed that we could find more stupid stages. Awesome. Yes, awesome, guys, awesome. I know the cactus is Digimon is Pokemon. Crucify me. I like Pokemon better. Beamon's <laughs> my favorite. Hey, um, Bosco. Yeah, what up, Pam? Where, where where can they find you? At Ed Bosco VA Instagram, Twitter, right here, twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco, boom. How is the, the Transformers thing, by the way? Uh, it's tomorrow. I'll let you know. Oh, okay, cool. Mm. Yeah, so tomorrow, if you guys are yeah. interested, you can swing by twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco at 6 o'clock PST. We are going to be streaming the first six episodes of War for Cybertron Siege, the new Transformers series. G1 was actually released in America tomorrow, so we're doing it on the anniversary. All the proceeds from tomorrow will be going to a Black Lives Matter charity, which I have yet to pick. I should probably do that. I got a couple in mind. So, uh, yeah, come by, and maybe you'll win a toy. We're giving away toys. We're going to have everybody autograph the toy that they voiced and give those away throughout the stream. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Well, ew. well, well. <laughs> also, well, check I me out in Baki. Oh, you're in Baki? Yes, I am. Do you win or die? Ooh. I'll let you watch the show. Oh, that's a good mm. one. Speaking of really talented voice actors, Mark Allen Jr. <laughs> you can't <laughs> hold on, hold on. like that. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, seriously. Mark is the only talented voice actor in this room. Oh, Calm down. That's true. That is, that is true. That no, is no, true. No. I won't no, take uh, any more of that nonsense. Motherfucker, when I go to your IMDb, I have to roll down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's for true. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, uh, Mark Allen, do it. I, 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 I like Mark Allen Jr. because he goes out into the world and he fights tornadoes barehanded with just his fists and a yeah, his I, I you, know, you know who bonus points in Grapple Storm. <laughs> you know who did that? Uh, Paul, but wait, not Paul Bunyan. Who was? <laughs> never mind. I don't know. Paul Bunyan well, is a kaiju, Paul and Bunyan. no one can convince me. Otherwise. That no, Paul he Bunyan is. was the kaiju. <laughs> he was ye old kaiju? kaiju. Yeah. Oh my God, Mark, where can they find you? You can find me at <laughs> Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Aeon Protect Gaming or on Twitter at Mark Allen Jr. <laughs> Uh, I'm again trying to get back into the streaming thing. I, I streamed a couple times in the past week, uh, yelling at Bosco, which is usually my favorite American pastime. So, uh, yeah, a couple of things on the horizon uh, that I can't announce yet, uh, but it really excited to uh, share some of the fun things I've had the opportunity to work on in the last month with you guys as soon as that stuff gets announced. So, yeah, yeah. NDAs are the worst. Yeah, I agree. I'm still on one that's been ongoing for like four years. That's not fun. Oh, oh, I know. So, Kurt, right? where can they find you? 
You can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where yesterday I completed Alan Wake. Ooh. And it was just... Oh, wait. Now oh, no, 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 no. Now, now it's Alan DLC. Oh, uh, no. yeah, so now, so now mm. we're, we're deep. We're deeper into the sleep. We're actually this is, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Playing Alan Wake was like I think, I think Christopher Nolan played this and he came up with Inception because of it. Mm. I think mm. maybe possible. It's a mind fuck of a game. Uh, we play mm. more of it and <laughs> playing a little bit of American Nightmare on Tuesday. And I coming up here uh, next month. I will be playing Alien Isolation. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't. Right. I'm, I can't I'm, wait to hear his shrill scream from all the way over here, dude. Alan Wake makes me jump. I love, I love that when you save in Alien Isolation, you can still die while you're saving. Yeah, that's fun. I didn't know that. All right, um, you can also. <laughs> 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 cool. It gets worse. Uh, you can also. We got uh, originally it was supposed to be wrestling tomorrow, but that has been delayed to this weekend. Because tomorrow I'm going to be getting in among us and I'm going to kill Zito uh, with kindness can't. because I'm going to make sure he lives. That's right, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, over I'm going to be, I'm gonna be the only person that never plays that. Stream four star. The over are you not a, star guy, Jenna, you're not a fan? Mm. Eh. I haven't it's totally played fine it at all, I'm just so. curious. Is it a personal preference or... <laughs> It just it just remi it just reminds me of Push the Button, which in my opinion was the was the worst Jackbox game. Uh, Did you push have, you the played, have you ever played the were Werewolf One Night Ultimate Werewolf? Yes, yes, I have. Do you enjoy that at all? Eh. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're not a fan mm. of that kind of game, then yeah, I can Some completely get it. Some people are. No, yeah. But as well, uh, Pretty close, as well though. Uh, this upcoming, uh, I believe, the next week, because uh, I believe it was supposed to happen this week, but next week. <laughs> Uh, I'm yes, yes, love adventure go is coming back. Nice, oh boy, next Friday, because it's glorious. Uh, next Why Friday, not? I uh, because and uh, yes, Did not drive this Friday. you guys crazy. Uh, well, no, what well, here's I got a we have a plan. The problem was making it Friday, Monday morning, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was rough, mm. that was a bad. You start the week with that. Yeah, no, you gotta warm up, you gotta <laughs> no, grease that, up. You that's a Friday night. <laughs> you, you gotta grease up. <laughs> Your cynicism for yes, yes, love adventure. Go. You got to make sure you get a whole week's worth of. I don't like humans. <laughs> got to just go in that show and just release it. I'll just un 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 unload all your frustration. That one person in drive through who took too long, right there. You just get it out. Anyways, that's over at twitch.tv slash Takahata101. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll be playing a lot of Among Us, guys. So, yeah, that's it for me. Nice. All right, we got a lot of bits to go through. Hey, Kurt. Uh, we have no. some announcements. Kurt, for yeah, before real quick, we're pretty good. Yeah. Never mind. Um, hi, Monty, everybody. Start. Yeah, yeah I'm going to start us off. So uh, for those of you who are not aware, uh, Twitch has is attempting to roll out some new policy, new thing with ads. Um, if you haven't heard about it, um, basically they want to run random ads for random users on Twitch. Um, we, I think we all are in agreement. We are not okay with this. This is very disruptive, um, and is incredibly counterintuitive towards this, this type of stream that we in particular run. Um, so we just want to let you guys know, this is completely out of our power. There's nothing we can do there. Um, I've been very upset because I feel incredibly powerless, uh, in regards to this. Um, so we have a few recommendations going forward. <laughs> Um, one, if you are watching today's stream, uh, and we are giving people permission to do this, um, if you have OBS or any other desktop recording software, um, please record today's stream. And if at any point an ad shows up and disrupts your viewing experience, please record it as evidence to show to Twitch that this decision is a very bad idea. <laughs> um, we need, you know, to show them why this is a bad thing. So if you guys at home have any OBS recording and this does happen to you in the middle of a very intense moment, if it really disrupts you, please pull some evidence out, have something that we can show just to show why it's a bad thing. On top of that, um, if you guys are viewing and you are disturbed and you don't have OBS, you don't have a way to record the stream, um, please go to Twitch support and tell them how you've been <laughs> bothered by this. Um, this sort of thing is not something you can kind of just sit and be like, well, whatever, it'll go away. We really, really want people to be vocal about this because there should be a better option than doing this. There's so many other things they could possibly do mm. to promote whatever they want to, you know, advertise in a way that isn't disturbing towards streamers. 
I like Twitch. They've been very helpful with us. We've had people who work directly at Twitch be extremely nice to us. Um, I feel like this is just a very, very bad business choice that someone made without really considering the downsides. It would seem very impulsive. So that is what I'm going to ask you. I'm going to repeat it again in case you came in late. If you guys have recording software at home, please record today or even future episodes um, where things are disruptive so you guys can show examples to not only us, but to Twitch of how it is a disturbance, how it can be a disturbance. Um, and if you can't do that, then please go and uh, check out Twitch support. There are There is currently a vote saying, you know, we don't want this. Please go vote there. It's really, really important. There's better options. Um, that's the downside, but we actually have some good news. Um, I think from Bosco and from Connor. So I'm going to say, let's go with, uh, let's go with, uh, maybe, uh, Bosco first. I'm sorry, Bosco. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I, thought I, go, I thought I go second. Cause Connor, they already know what Connor's thing is. Uh, okay. so, <laughs> so as you know, normally in, uh, the month of October, we have Orctober, which Connor will talk about in just a second. However, there's something weird this year. For those of you who might not be aware, there's a new show on Saturday nights at 7 o'clock PST called The Prince Division that Connor and I are in and have a blast in every Saturday. You should check it out if you haven't. Or even if you <laughs> fell off the train, you should get back on it. Uh, there's a problem, though. Monty normally takes October off, and we have these days that aren't filled. And so we were thinking, maybe, maybe we should fill them, these days that will not be used. And on top of that... It's Halloween, and for the first time in a long time, not only will there be two full moons in Halloween, or in October, but on Halloween, for the first time since 1944, it will be a full moon. So, with all of the spooks and the craziness going on, I am proud to announce that starting on September 26th, for five weeks, I will be back as the DM extraordinaire to run some Ravenloft, baby! Yeah. So if you're a fan of Ravenloft, if you want to see some spooky, crazy skeletons, you should tune in right here on twitch.tv slash The Unexpectables every Saturday night at 7 o'clock PST. It will be replacing the Prince Division from September 26th for a five-week period. We will be off on Halloween, so you don't have to worry about that at all. But that's what we will be doing for Prince Division. So, yeah, two campaigns for the month of October. And it starts the 26th, which is a week from this coming Saturday. Yeah. Do you want to say who's playing? I would love to. So the players will be as follows. Distortion Devadu is going to be joining us once again. Yeah. I've talked Monty Glue out of retirement. She's going to play. She's no yeah. longer a forever DM. I and play. I was thinking, since we've got two people from Shadow War, there was somebody I couldn't get in Shadow War, and it was disappointing. So I have invited the lovely Chris Zito to come play. So oh Zito my. will be part of the campaign. It's going to oh be God. great. What but then I was thinking... <laughs> yeah, but then I was thinking, wait a second. Mark Allen Jr. has been in Ravenloft with me, and he's a veteran of Ravenloft. So, of course, I got to get Mark in there. So, I'm Mark will be joining die. us. Let's go. Exactly. Prepared to die. However, it wouldn't be a show if we didn't have five people. We've, we've kind of, five has kind of been the number, right? So, I was thinking, who could we get? And I did ask Gaijin, and Gaijin was like, well, I stream on Saturday. So, we are bringing in somebody who has never been on this channel before, and I am pleased and honored to announce that the fifth player for Ravenloft will be somebody you guys all know and love, Therapod. So Therapod, give it up. He's yeah. going to be making yeah. his debut right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to have him. I met him at TwitchCon. He's very, very sweet. So it's going to be really, really fun to have Therapod. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm super stoked. I don't think also, he's ever been on the channel, which is great. Get ready for our characters to actually potentially die in this. Ravenloft is hard. It is not. So just yeah, as, yeah, just as a heads up, for those of you that aren't familiar with Ravenloft, just, I'll make this real quick because I know I'm running us over. Uh, Gothic Horror, <laughs> your care, we, we are only doing headshots. There's not going to be like a group photo until the very end because your characters are expected to die. When I played with Mark, his first character was gone in a session and a half. Just boom, just gone. Yep. That's how quick it can happen. The second so, time yeah, he was gone in five minutes. Yeah, five <laughs> minutes. <The> other... <laughs> oh man, first one got poofed out of existence. The other one got killed. You have a terrible track record. I, I hope do, you do better this time. So yeah, Ravenloft's going to be a lot of fun. It's it's a very dark. Think uh, it's vampires and werewolves and monsters and all kinds of dark. Yeah, Blood. it is. But it will not. There will be. I'm sure you'll laugh a little bit, but it's going to be dark. Like it'll Yarnum, probably be the darkest one that we've seen. Whereas October is a little bit more lighthearted. So, Connor, why don't you tell me about that real quick? Well, for those of you who were looking forward to Orktober, 
uh, you will not be disappointed because DeCrew is coming back. Mm. Woo! Yeah. Uh, oaks, 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 Carry on, you lot. And, and a certain someone will be joining us as well. Should I say who it is? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, say it. Ah. Uh, since, since our lovely DM, Monty Glue, deserves a break, she'll be playing in two campaigns during October. Oh, yeah! Thank you so much! Yes. So Monty's an orc! I got oh. my orc done. I made my orc yesterday, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get orky. I'm, I'm super ready to mm -hmm. get orky. Yeah, if, if, I, can I, if, oh, yes. If you thought the crew Fortnite edition was crazy last year, Boy, howdy, do I have a show for you this year. Oh, the boy. Among Us. I see. I'm excited. <laughs> I've never been a player with Monty. I've never it's... been a player with Monty, so I'm super Don't excited me, to see Zito. how this goes. <laughs> He'll do it. He'll fucking Orc. do it. Dude, dude, Orc Fall Guys is just Armageddon. It, I feel like that's already Warhammer. Like, Fall Guys, Orcs is just no, Warhammer. No, no, Armageddon. It's just, it's just uh, waves of Orcs just trying to get to the finish line. Just doesn't work. Work! <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't be a bloodletter. I have to be an orc, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, but maybe we'll kill some bloodletters. Hmm? We did last time. It. Crazier but, things have happened, but uh, is but there anything my, else we could? My orc hmm? is pretty big. Um, sorry. Um, I think we can. You gotta read off the bits. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Have, Kurt. I will give you. I will give you. I have to still write the intro, so you have tons of time. I go ahead. Go wild. Like you're good. Okay. Uh. Well. Well. I will thank this. Oh my God. I, I I pray for a better uh, program. I mean, Streamlabs has been handy for a lot of things, but I do wish for a more a better up to date. What is it, scroller is it like for... less? Is it like updating it or not showing you the stuff? No, when I click over uh, two Streamlabs, when I just click the tab, it refreshes. But you can see like it's like oh, you're watching this now. This is out off because because you know like it slowly increases, but if you're tabbed off of it, it doesn't do those increases. Hmm. Like the uh, the means. actual uh, updates. So there's this big update and it just cuts off lots of shit. So I'm gonna try and read through this here. And if you drop bits or subs, we do not get called out. Uh, please just mention it, and we'll try our best to thank you. Uh, Battery Batty Turpus for Chuada. Uh, monkey feet. Oh, I uh, want to thank you guys. Oh my goodness, you're already tripping out the gate. Uh, battery batty troopers for Tuita. Thank you so much for the subs. Monkey feet gifting five subs to the community. Monkey feet. Oh one. Thank you so much for gifting subs to people like Eight Ball Fortunes, Colonel ha Colonel Haggis, Real Meta, Mick McFly, and Zero Tri Swords. <laughs> my goodness, thank you so much. Mister Inktail with one thousand and fifty bits. Hello everyone to the OG group of D and D players. I got my interest. Good luck in all your sessions. I've hunted five of you already. I've got three more to go on my list. Bosco, you're next. Have some extra because of FF four, FF sixteen. Oh, okay, that's right, that's right, guys. Do they, they, they lie a sixteenth time? It's not the last one. They got us last time almost. Forever Dungeon Master, thank you so much for the bits as well. Pentageddon with a one thousand bits. Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four elements lived in peace. Did everything change? When the Oni attacked only Toby Kage, master of backstabbing and losing his acid dagger. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. <laughs> I just wanna I just wanna imagine you just click dragging an image into a bush. <laughs> and, and it I makes mean, I a disrupt invisibility, but yeah. It know. makes a really badly audio mixed bush sound. Like it's so loud, and, you're like Shit. And, and when he when he moves it into the bush behind him is actually a, a small little drawing of a punch bowl. Yep. <laughs> It's all the same layer, you see. Monkey Feet 01 with an additional 1,500 bits. Favorite campaign to watch, listen to. Well, thank you so much, Monkey Feet 01 for the 1,500 additional bits. Greatly appreciate that. Daxi 99, Xandros, Leo's champion, Bud the Spud 3226, Noxious Virus 117. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. <sighs> Rimpy dropping 10,000 bits. Oh, my God. First time I can watch this live as my D&D &D group isn't playing today. Unrelated sad news is I'm pretty sure my 15-year-old kitty probably has a tumor on the nose and is having a rough time. Sadness befalls me. Oh, no, sorry, kitty. Yeah. Sorry, kitty. Okay. But, Primpy, thank you so much for the 10,000 bits, dude. And may your cat recover as soon as possible. At least it's external, which is a bit better than when you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, King, Hall yeah. Mm, King Hall 13 with the 510 beds. What do you think this, who do you think is the best voice actor? And why is it? I don't know if I should say that name. Yeah, Dan Green. There's a bunch of voice actors in this channel. Everyone's going to be like, <laughs> it's not me, for sure. For sure. No, no. Of course, they, uh, Godfrey. 
Yep, yep, that's it. Okay. Everyone go home. Gilbert Gottfried, the best voice actor. Ah! That man went in and crushed that audition. We want it to sound like shit. But in a way we're willing but in a way we're willing to pay for. In a way that will still make people buy insurance. Interesting. Interesting. Leo's champion with the Vitor Tibes. Yo, Bosco, do them Clippers fans feel right? How do those Clippers fans feel right now? Okay, Bosco gives you silence. That's his response, Leo's champion. Did you just throw something against the wall? Mr. Insecure. <laughs> Thank you for the six month reset. <laughs> Arjun, the great, great person, great person to go jump right over into. I couldn't. Okay, Mr. Insecure, thank you so much. Arjun Lyal, thirteen. Thank you as well for the subs. Monkey feet gifting another five subs to the community. Monkey feet gifting subs to generic edge lords nine sixty copper tulip Zax with all X's. Red headed Draco Productions. Oh, wait. Yay, <clears throat> Gustavid, good subid son. A thousand bits. I'm finally able to watch this live after binging the main series in just under three months. Wow. Wow. Right. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I hope, I hope you like it. <laughs> yeah, I hope it was good, man. Can't wait to see what's next for our heroes. Well, Gus Davidson, we're glad to have you here, man. Just gag. Thank you for the five subs. Give you some subs to people like Latverian Citizen, Peter Piper, the portable pen. <laughs> wow. Yeah, all right. Jazz Gang, thank you so much for gifting them five subs. Greatly appreciate it. Dokenia 9, Rook Alec, Mr. Pockets 150, Flitz Boy, Topper Bottom, Strife 152, The Hand and the Iron Fist, Nightmare Jess 18, X Wiley, Willie Commander, Solace, Elated, Megalodon, Random Man. Thank you all for the subs, guys. Mr. Insecure and Arc Requiem D, thank you for the bits as well. I want to thank Arc Requiem D for being kind enough to drop another five subs to people like. Sachi Kins, Flame Revenant 21, Samurai Rage. Thank you so much, Arc Requiem D, for gifting them five subs. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> Triage 06, Captain Necros, Viral Tech 1, Drachizi Otaku 45, Moose Belheim, Mezkin 09, A Lack of. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Greatly appreciate that. Bounty Mantis 90, first time catching you guys live. Had surgery yesterday. Can't sleep. You guys have all inspired me to be a better player. Yes, even you, Bosco. But especially a better DM. Thanks, Monty, for the amazing world and story. Well, thank you so much for saying. Lasker Fuffle with a thousand bits. Hello. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Lasker Fuffle's got a gun. Oh, oh no. Me first. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Last Grafuffle, yeah. thank you for the 1,000 bits. Scarberjack33 with a 500 bits. I'm so excited for this. Let's get Arky. Ah! Thank you, Scarberjack33. That was really intense. Warfe, oh, shove a corn for 20. Dezib91, thank you all for the subs. I snake eyes with 1,000 bits. So when is DeCrew going to break into the text-to-speech universe? Scratches chin. Up to Alpha. Yeah. yeah. Up to him. Yeah. No, that, that ex exactly. What? They already got somebody in that universe who's going to bring the Habs. What's so. happening? What? So oh, about crossover. Uh, what is this? A crossover episode? <laughs> and Laugh roll crack. Cards. Oh man, Ms. Book Sanji 900, S Wolf 95, thanks so much for the bits. Uh, Pi Rounded, thank you for the bits as well. Peter Butter, the Portable Pen, thank you as well. I would like to thank uh, Fat Spartan, Strife 152, gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much to Strife 152, gifting subs to people like Sam, yep. Spider Man, Avion Fan, Rassack 18, Dark Spirit Seer. <gasps> well, thank you so much. To Strife 152, Zen Lita, and Rinu Zuka. Thank you so much for the subs as well. I would also like to thank Real Meta with 2,000 bits. Hello, all. I have chicken wings, and I'm ready to watch Satan's first fight. Watch Satan fist fight a Primarch. God damn, I'm excited. Wait, what? We're doing the Greckles arc? Right. Now, when there's already a war going on, the gang's going where? No joke. Super excited to see where y'all will we'll see all of what happens this session and any of what y'all do. Love you all. Heart. Well, thank you so much, Real Meta, for the love and the 2,000 bits as well. Blue Kios 445 with the 10,000 bits. I could call that like the Japanese New Japan pro wrestling announcer, but I'm not. Why going didn't to. you? Well, oh, I could. Do you want me to try my best? Yes. Do it. Blue Kios 445! There we go. 
that's the best I got. Was it in the Tokyo Dome? Zero stars. I could get even further away from my microphone. Blue Chaos 445 with a <laughs> thousand, ten thousand. Minutes. My house. Time <laughs> for more of Greco's backstory. Let's go. Blue Chaos 445. I think, I think, I think you'd have to, you'd have to kill him to stop him. Augie Jr. Thank you so much for the sub and Print Pete with 500 bits. Clarification: Unconfirmed internal, internal tumor for Kitty. He can't smell anymore and has a runny nose. Oof. Okay. Aww. That is true. Who's Hoping for the best. Eating drinks, at least. That's, that's the biggest, but, most important thing. Big thank you to Prim Pete and Blue Chaos 445, Real Meta, and everybody else for dropping them subs, and Monkey Feet for dropping them subs as well. All righty, guys, that's it for me here. Monty, is there anything else you need? You good? No, we're good to go. Okay. Right. Oh, boy. Get me out of this world. I mean... Faster! <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, wow, boy. See how it is. Okay. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so, when last we left our heroes, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Remy the Kenku Fighter, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, and a new found friend in Seika, the Fire Ganassi Monk, the party came to discover that Greckles, their beloved friend, ended up being a prince. To the arrival of Seika, an agent of the Acolytes of the Phoenix. Seika, sent by Master Kai of the Acolytes of the Phoenix, explained that great Oni broke from their seals and are now conquering each plane of air, water, earth, and fire, and that only Greckles, son of the great Master Kai, can defeat them. Now, with their mission in mind, the party must collect ingredients to create items that will allow them to survive in the various elemental planes. First, they collected drow blood from Quarion to survive the elemental plane of air. But now, the party rushes onwards, beasts of burden carrying them to the southern swamplands of Alabas to hunt down their second quarry, a frogemoth, to procure lungs to, the, to procure lungs to survive the elemental plane of water. So, as you guys are traveling, each of you riding your respective beasts, I'm just going to grab where is it? Here we go. Uh, so you're saying that Greckles is part of the Prince Division. <laughs> mm. Actually, no, he's not because oh. Kenkus can't be princes or princesses in that. Thank world. you. I was yeah. just about wow. to say, I was like, we've That's... gone over this. No, I didn't realize it. discrimination was so. No, it's, it's, no, it's, no, it's actually that. only it's like a human thing. It's, a, it's actually like it's a I medical know. affliction that only humans get. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I stole that so um, cool much. Science, Mark, let it lie. <laughs> um, Seika, part of the ingredients that you received that you were instructed to get required a process to turn them into the items you will need to enter the planes. Uh, for the elemental plane of water, you will need potions specifically made out of drow blood. Uh, so you guys, I thought that assumedly, was air. that was air. Sorry, my bad. Air. Um, so the draw blood is used for the elements plate of air. So what you guys managed to do is you gave it to Willow to make them into potions based off of instructions given to Seika. You don't know how to do it yourself, Seika, because a lot of it written out is nonsense that you don't understand. But uh, Willow, this human woman um, who owns a potion shop next door, uh, she's willing to take on making these potions for for basically each of you. Um, but that will probably hold her up for a while. Uh, you guys set off on your beasts, riding, uh, I believe, towards the village where, um, Tony and... Yeah, we're heading to Humbrack. Humbrack? Yeah, Humbrack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys make your way to Humbrack. Humbrack has grown a decent amount. Um, notably, you see familiar faces, um, currently with carriages and what, some worn out, Worn out places? I fucking hate you. Places. Someone it's made a the happier joke. <laughs> so, it's the, remind me, is this the village where we had the standoff with the uh, monsters culling? It is, absolutely is, yep. Mm, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were after... It's been a um, they were after... I mean, Thomas was the child's name. It really yeah. was a mad world here. Yeah. But you notice <laughs> there's the framework of new houses being built, and you notice a lot of people in this village are people who survived the attack from the dragon cult from the other village. They appear to be people who probably live there who are trying to find a new footing uh, to go. You see dwarves unloading carts. You see other humans uh, making, kind of arranging their families and noting out plots of land, starting to, to, to work with the land. 
Um, notably, there's also a temple being built in this town now, uh, a bit more significant. Um, anyone who wants to, as you guys kind of make your way into the town and, and, and stop and uh, check in, uh, may make a religion check to see what kind of temple that is. Yes, yeah. Whoa! 21. Oh, nice. 23. Um, do, I, do I have to roll? You don't have to. Those two rolls will, will, will be pretty Bor good. Borky's still busy one hand reading a, a small book. Okay. Um, so, Greckles, uh, that temple is a temple to Ginter, which makes a ton of sense. Mm -hmm. um, it is just the framework, but notably the uh, symbol is not of just the Ginter the god. You also see that there is a sort of a almost like an icon at the top which is of a essentially like what looks like a bull's head but it's like really stylized and very celestial looking hmm. um, Goals. yeah um, uh by the way monty you're coming in a little bit quiet i'm apparently. coming in quiet really? you're a little bit quieter than everybody else yeah really let me listen mm. to she sounds fine to me uh, <laughs> she sounds fine to us but not on wallfly yeah. got it let me, mm. let me talk blah, blah, blah. oh wait, yeah wow uh no worries, we, 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 we caught it early. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. Hello, oh, there, there we go. The chat's saying they're fine. For well, some now, reason. Wait, is Humbrack, is Humbrack where we ended up like suplexing a, a hag? And by we, I mean Borky. What, yeah, yes. we should just say we. The swamp you guys are heading to, the swamp you guys are heading to is where the event happened, yes. God, okay, I'm just trying to, I'm remembering this all now, okay. Thanks for the memory. That was, hey man, it, you had a bridge and everything on that suplex. It <laughs> was true. textbook. What, one, two, three, tap. Uh, so, uh, yeah. with those religion checks, that this is definitely a Ginter, definitely a Ginter temple. It's in the works. Um, the iconography, I'm going to say, uh, Panic, you actually don't recognize this. Um, right. Theka, uh, which is very interesting for you. You've, you've read plenty of, you know, scrolls and books at the temple uh, that tell you much of the material plane. Um, and Greckles, you would kind of know this too. Mm -hmm. um, that symbol the, the bull head is of a of a celestial bull it is a a the basically the patron celestial of beasts of burden donkeys bulls cows like those sorts of animals and that's just kind of like domesticated animals essentially um mm. farm animals essentially gonna she has made the great bull of chicago oh, shut <laughs> I up knew that was i fucking <laughs> remus the imposter <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. i saw him vent Um, I would say, I see you guys would probably, I'm going to say that, um, Seikai, you would know, um, the name of this god. It is Legorus. That is the name of the god. Wow. Legorus? Legorus, yeah. L-A, I'm going to spell it out just so you guys have it. L-A-G-U-R-U-S. Legorus. And that's the name of the god that they're building the temple to, or that... No, well, the, it is... The... The bull. The, uh, the, oh, the bull's the, name the is bull, that. The bull, yeah, is Lagarus. <clears throat> Got it. He had a great season last year. Right? Last year. Oh, oh you God, so you people. What do you mean? And you I hate to say it, but it is Lagarus, the great bull. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I'm not changing it. That is as it is, that is, as it is written. Victory is mine! Everyone, aristocratic clap, please. Thank you. Hey, you guys. Pull your anyway. pants up, Zeno. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Humbrack Village is growing in size. It feels like people are a lot more comfortable, especially to the south. Remy, that kind of gives you a lot of hope, um, mm -hmm. considering that, you know, it's really, really far away. But obviously to the south is where still, while not as intense, the fight against the fire giants is still occurring there. Mm -hmm. um, so it is nice to see some growth to the south. Yes, it is. Okay. Do you guys want to stop in the village? Do you guys want to continue on? What time I mean, of day is it? Um, you guys left at about... I mean, you're on the backs of your, your beasts, so you guys make really good time. I'm going to say you guys I... left probably like 8 a.m., and now it's probably about 9.30. I oh. think it would be wise if we went to a tavern and at, or like a hunting gatherer's like location just like ask questions. Yeah. Get some intel. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Yep. As I unbuckle my son from his strap on the on the back of Ivahi. Uh, he actually can't fit on Ivahi. He has to ride on the back of, um, oh, I forgot your bull's name. Kinush. Uh, 
Kinushi. Kinushi has a little like has a little rack where you can put stuff on it, but currently <laughs> he was sitting chilling on out it. with you the whole time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was I bet that was an awkward ride. I love it. I you can imagine it any way you want if he's in a car seat that's up to anybody, but he is he is behind on the bowl uh, at the moment. You see guys roll into town. Uh, people do turn their heads. There are some other other people who are just like, ah, it's Alabas. I don't know. I, what? Why would I look? Right? Um, but you guys roll into town. There is that uh, kind of main area, that um, almost town hall esque kind of area you guys have been in before. Uh, but there is a tavern. There's now a tavern here. Um, it looks like it was probably built um, at some point. You're not sure. Uh, but the tavern's name is because I didn't expect this. In one second. I'm and, sorry. No, you're good. This is good. This is D and D. You guys wanted to do stuff. I'm gonna make it's it happen. D and D. Fighting with the house. legends of your. We're playing D and D. It's role playing in D and D. It's gonna be in the other book, of course. It's in the other book that's on the bottom. My rolls are tight. D and D. That's a lie. We're gonna get. Oh. We're gonna get vod muted, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you think we sing that well that? The auto catch is gonna grab us singing. Man, you don't know. Hey, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Dickma is gonna drop the atomic also, leg on us. Someone, <laughs> so, so someone, I'm gonna say, pick amongst you. Someone roll a d12 for me. I, I'll, I'll I'm gonna say Zito. It yeah, Zito, you do it. Yeah, Zito, you do it. You made it sound first. Roll d12. Yeah. <laughs> two. Okay. And then roll another d12. I. Here I go. Twelve. What the fuck? This is a stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> uh the it, the tavern's name is called the Crooked Salt. What? Oh, I love it. Bitch. Great. <laughs> oh, I get it. Like they like they knocked over a salt can or something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> it must uh, be where Task's family was. No, okay, that's bad. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Tar just gets like fucking so much salt in your head. Uh the picture is you guys get closer and you kind of like you you guys uh, manage to like tie. You don't have to, Seika. Your your thing just stops when you tell it to stop. It doesn't really need to be, the doesn't need to be tied up or anything. It doesn't wander. But you no. guys tie up your beasts of burden, um, in front of the crooked salt. The sign is of a dwarf like throwing an axe on the ground angrily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because of the oh, name. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Um, but it's I a very nice location. Stuff. It's it's a very very nice tavern. It seems very quiet considering it's like nine a.m. So you know. Uh, Tess, do you think you might be able to get some info? Why? I got some things oh. I need to talk to Seika about. Well, that's what I was thinking. I just, like, I, I piggyback Tarsk on my back and I walk inside. Okay. You, you can't really do that. He's too big now, okay, but he can walk next to you. Okay, Borky's like Borky's, like, tying up the rope with one hand. He's still got the small book about business in his hand. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Does anyone... So, I... Remy! Yes, Borky? Do you know that if you don't sell the food, you have to throw it out or give it to people for free? Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise. Bork, We've been in this tavern for how many years now, Borky? Uh, what, 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 hey, hold on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't work there. I guess this is... And besides, anything we don't need, we just give to Tubbs. I'll give the extra cheese to Tubbs. What was I <laughs> thinking? Never mind. He closes his eyes. Oh God, Remy! Remy's Pretend gonna stay outside there. and and feed Volo and absolutely yeah. eavesdrop on Greckles. I'm gonna say Remy, roll just a quick perception check for me, just uh -oh. naturally, like overall. In fact, I'll say actually panic too. I'm gonna say panic and Remy. Oh, just, I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Borky. Too, uh, twenty-three. Perception. Uh, Ten. Natural one. <laughs> yeah, you're reading your book. You don't care, Borky. Uh, panic. Uh, Judas just wants your attention I'm, so badly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm petting him and closing my eyes and pretending I'm not listening to this. You, uh, you, as you try to like move away anytime, panic. It's like you know when you pet an animal and they get really upset when you stop. It's like that. Like you'll stop petting him. He goes, <laughs> like kind of just gets like really like puffy about it. <laughs> no, stay, Dad. Uh, but. You Remy, you notice there's a bunch of uh, town's kids who are just kind of like gawking and staring and like waving at you and running around. Remy will uh, wave back to them and even give them a little bit of a head bow. Yeah, as you acknowledge them, they kind of like shove each other and like run away laughing. There's a lot of kids here now. There's you probably count about five or six like young young children running around. It will, uh, uh, it will bring a smile to Remy's face. 
All right. So, Task, you head inside of the tavern. It smells very nice in here. Um, it doesn't smell like salt, but it does smell like... Um, it, it smells like the Sweet Dragon, but... God, I'd be less... disappointed if it didn't, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it smells smokier in here. You notice that, uh, behind the actual tavern, like, uh, like, counter, there's actually, like, instead of, you know, you, you, at your tavern, you have, like, barrels that are kind of, like, sideways, like, you know, from, like, the, the floor to the wall. Um, here, it's, like, smoked meats and, um, like, sausages and stuff, and nice. clearly it's, it's not just, like, obvious kind of like the Sweet Dragon, but it's, like, it's very much, like, food and drink as well. Um, you see nobody inside except for two individuals. Uh, you see a halfling who is just passed out at one of the tables. Like, he <laughs> he was probably there yesterday and is still here today, just, like, still just sleeping. Uh, he's wearing reasonably nice clothes. Um, not, like, aristocratic or anything like that, but he's clearly not an outdoorsy person. He, he's probably, like, a banker or some sort of, like, like paper pusher in a way. Uh, okay. And then at the counter, you see currently, like, like making sausages uh you see a dwarf um he's kind of crusty looking but friendly enough um he's he's a very like he he has these features to him that make him look old but he's not old you can tell just by his face like he's got like a white beard like he's got a white beard and white hair but it's not because of age it's because of genetics um and he's just sitting there kind of like making sausage and he kind of turns he goes hey don't be shy come on in all right uh i wander on inside and i get I get Taurus to sit on the bar stool next to me. All right, you watch as your dragon just, uh, and he kind of sits down, and the dwarf kind of cocks his head and turns and goes, "Dragon would be getting weird. Must be something in the water." <laughs> oh, he's uh, well, my son's an odd duck, but me and him would like a sausage and maybe some information. All right, all right. How many sausages you want? I look over at Taurus, get a look at his physique. Two for him, one for me. You he watches he takes off uh, some sausages and just cuts them, and he has a frying pan. He just fries uh, these sausages. And immediately, just the sound and the smell just fills the air with these spices and aromatics, a sort of smoky, smoky scent to it. And he nice. kind of tosses it. He's, he's very experienced. You can tell this guy was probably more of a chef than tavern keep, but he's kind of you know doubling down. He's just uh, here. Yeah, he turns to you and he goes, "So, what you want to know?" Well, we're on a bit of a hunt. I know the swamp is uh, a little bit of ways from here, but we're looking for a frog hemoth. I was wondering if you had any information on such a thing, or anyone who has actually seen the creature. The uh, dwarf kind of cocks in he his head and goes, oh, we'll be talking about seeing walking frog things. That's about what we're looking for. Apparently back in the later years, there were frog things that would eat people and witches and all kinds of things in those swamps. Not that I would know much about that. I came after the fact. But apparently it's much safer as long as you don't head too far uh, southwest. But if you're looking for trouble, I think about that way. You might be able to find something good there. Hmm. Good tip. Any other uh, things I should know about these frogs? Uh, not that I would know. Unfortunately, a lot of people here are are, you know, dirt-working folks. You got all kinds of farmers and people of the land, you know. Not a lot of adventures come down here. Most of the time, they're looking straight westward or to the north. Ah, oh, well. Well, any information is valuable information. Thank you for your assistance. Of course! Order up! And he just... This giant sausage. I'm talking probably, like... I want to say, like... Uh, I'm measuring out here. I'm going to say probably, like, six inches... Like long Crap. sausage, one nice. one inch thick. Like these are big sauce. These are dwarf sausages. Yeah. Monty, have you ever seen uh, when someone makes a sandwich out of like a huge pickle? No. Wow. Oh, we, oh shit. shit. No. What, what, <laughs> there, what, what, what is this American heresy tech you're talking Dude, about? Dude, fuck here? you. It's amazing. It's literally. You'll have to show me. Pickle. You'll have to. You'll have to give me ammunition and show me what that is. J just replace the bread with a large pickle. Oh, that sounds fun. What? I like that. Yeah, it's what, like a hoagie um, with a pickle instead. You get t TFS maybe think a hoagie was something really inappropriate because I didn't know what a hoagie was until I watched that episode. <laughs> <laughs> and now I can't, I, mean. I can't, I can't break that association now. So whenever someone says hoagie, immediately I'm like, oh, that's like a dirty thing, and I'm like, it's not though. <laughs> Thanks, right Lanny. Here. Thanks, Lanny. Um, anyway, um, yeah, you get served up two two very thick sausages and just like a giant, like almost ladle size of sauerkraut that he just like slaps next to them and just like gives them to you. 
Meanwhile, okay. outside, Greckles and Seika, you guys kind of take a, a lay of the land and... Ear to Kuri... the ground. <clears throat> Kuriyami-san, um, something I've been meaning to ask, and now that we're just taking a break, I think this is a good time. Uh, Shichue, uh, my father, what is he like? Do, would I have... I mean, I know I, I, I've interacted with him but mm -hmm. like do we actually have like a any kind of non he taught you relationship? he taught you how to fight okay he's like your teacher he he's taught you how to fight he is wise he is very resourceful and there's never been a choice he's made that has ever been questionable like he's a very honorable honorable man i have known him for some time he taught me all i know Certainly, I would uh, describe him as a patient man and one who has earned his position. Hmm. Wonder what it's going to be like if I ever see him. I'm not exactly the most honorable these days. Whatever do you mean? Seika, I, I think it's pretty obvious that um, for a large part of my life, I didn't know where I was from or who I was or anything like that. And I had to do literally anything I could to get by. Sometimes I had to steal. Sometimes I had to hurt other people. But it was the only way I could live. It was the only way I could survive. And especially after... After Futenbo threw me out, I... That was probably the darkest time. So I, uh... I guess you could say my pittance was Alavast itself. I saw it as a new beginning, a new home, and I was going to do everything in my power to protect it and not taint it. And then Grok was just kind of looks at like just cross just that that crosses legs lean like uh, lean on a wall and just kind of looks in the ground denka i hope you won't consider this too forward but there is no dishonor in survival if you had not done what you had this meeting would not have happened and the four I... elemental planes would be doomed I, I guess that's true. It's just... I guess that's my worry. Someone so honorable and, and wise and knowledgeable and... For someone like that to see their offspring just... I don't know, just some kind of scrappy chick. I guess that's just something that's been weighing on my mind a little bit. It is perhaps not my place to say so, but you'll notice that like his his smile, while not fading completely, does kind of lose a little bit of <clears throat> the humor that you've associated with his face. Mm -hmm. There were not always those who accepted Master Kai. Though what he you... has done nothing but prove himself, he, well, he was an outsider. Uh, how, how so? He is from the material plane. Much the same as you. Do you know where specifically? He, he, he just, his eyes widen and just, just a sh looks right at you. Would that have ever been shared with me? No, you have not a clue. Yeah. I'm afraid I do not. Well, I guess that is one thing working for me. Kurama-san, you're, you're going to have to forgive me. This is not a society that functions very well under the concept of, of Tatemai. It might be better to... It, he's, he's, he's trying to, to, to wrestle around, just trying how to explain this. And Seika, of course, is standing there, <laughs> non-changing expression, just waiting. There's nothing wrong with being you. You don't have to put up a front here, and especially with me. 
I know my father may have dictated certain things, and I understand that you're here as, as my guard, but this is a unique opportunity for you as well. You come from a place even more foreign than what I did. I would feel awful if you missed out on an opportunity to have some truly unique experiences. I, I don't want protocol uh, or or wah, uh, harmony, whatever it is you want to call it. I don't want that to take away from your experience here because I don't know how long you'll have here. You honor me, Denka, for thinking of my own well-being, but this mission, it is one to save my homeland. It is hard to think of this as a learning opportunity. That's the thing about being in this realm and being with especially this group of people. There's always something looming on the horizon. The one thing that I've learned that even in the most turbulent times, to stop and breathe and meditate and take in the world around you. Let it flow in through your senses and then back out. It'll not only keep you calm on the battlefield, but it'll also give you some of the most amazing experiences in your travels. All I'm saying is don't lose sight of the opportunities that present themselves to you. He'll, as you're speaking, he is sort of letting his gaze wander as he looks around the town. Uh, having never been here, how similar is this to Alavaz? Your home plane, you mean? No, no, the, the last city we were in, sorry. This one's smaller. It's very village-like. You have villages in the, uh, in the elemental plane of fire as well. Um, but it's strange, like, you know, each building... It's not consistent, whereas in the Elemental Plane of Fire, like, all the buildings have a similar style. It is the Elemental Plane of Fire. This one, you see, like, dwarven buildings, you see human buildings, you see an elf building off to the side. It's very different, but it's also different with differences in, 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 a, in a weird way. But everyone's getting along, which is interesting to you, because mm -hmm. for you, at least with terms of the elemental planes you guys never mix you guys never blend together it just is not something that happens um so you can tell as you're speaking he is he is still listening to you while he's also looking around mm -hmm. uh seemingly heeding uh your direction of of stopping and, and observing i appreciate the lesson denka i will do my best at this point, Task, you kind of burst out of the double doors. Pretty full. Tar uh, Tarisk is happy. Tarisk is... That was a really good sausage. It was very... It had that, you know, when you... Uh, I'm sorry, Chad, I'm doing it to you. Um, <laughs> Talk. You know when you, eat, you know when you eat, like, a sausage, and it's, like, got, like, the crispy outside that's fried? Oh, oh fuck. Yeah. And then, and then oh, the savory, yeah. juicy, smoky inside? like that and it was like thick too so it was like almost like um crackle like on like a you know, like a pig if you cook if you never get like pig and you get like the crackle like the skin oh, Monty, you have no fucking idea how much i actually fucking crave like the hard the hard char outside oh yeah juicy oh, inside. yeah, so oh, yeah. Good. Fuck. Mm. juices inside so thick you gotta chew them uh-huh <laughs> Uh, but you were very satisfied, and the sauerkraut was very, very good. Very strong, too. It was a definitely dwarven food, for sure, 100%. Hell yes. You got well, you your way out with, with the information that you've received. I return to the guys. I look around, and I'm just like, all right, well, the folk don't really contend with a lot of things out, uh, out in the swamp, but uh, they told me if we stay on the path and then start going a little bit more to the south, that's where we could find some trouble. Uh, I thought we uh, I thought we were trying to avoid making any. You guys were very clear with me when we left town. We're trying to hunt down a giant frog. That's going to oh, start some kind of trouble. Borky, the only time you really need to start behaving is when we're in a completely different plane. So you're you're good. As a future business owner, I don't like the tone you're taking with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Borky, <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Well, I'll be sure. I'll be sure to leave a negative review to all of my people. Yo, you wouldn't dare. <laughs> Greckles just gives you the big 
toothy bird smile. Get Shit. on it, Alabast Oracle. I sure <laughs> shall pass. Like, looks like right, just like, fuck. Are people leaving bad reviews on our shit? That's uh, a good question, I see, actually. I see Grickles is taking the Yelp action. <laughs> listen, He's listen, listen. Yelping. Laugh, damn now, it. <laughs> now look here, my good man. Laughter. I've been sitting here for five minutes. <laughs> I've been sitting here for five minutes and I haven't received one ale. One star. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But... Well, here's, here's the thing, though. So, we go down the road and just Trouble's gonna find us or we're gonna find Trouble. Well, we can either... Well, Trouble can either find us in the form of small frog people or we can just stumble into their village. Okay, well, I don't know if the latter's gonna happen because, like, I feel like they'd post a guard and he'd be like, ribbit, ribbit, and point at us. Or he's just... Look at it, Tash. Tash just like snaps his fingers at that. He's just like, we have ways to communicate with these people, yes? Looks at panic. <laughs> I mean, panic just always talks in tongues, so I'm Wait, assuming... wait, wait. Who are these people you're the referring frog, to? The, the frog people? The, the, the thing we're trying to hunt? The frog hemoth? No, there's other creatures along with it. There's, like, the frog hemoth's gonna come with a posse of grung, aren't they? Yeah, well, we, well, we don't know much about frog culture, but does one master frog dominate well, the other ones with sheer imposing power? <laughs> Our, wait, and you want me to talk to them? Well, as a last resort, it's something we could do if we don't want to go in and just annihilate them all. We need to- Why am I being the level-headed one? I'm usually the one who's always upset! I mean, you you did find solace and peace, after all. We have We're a about goal. to kill a giant frog and take its lungs! Maybe we'll kill the one that got Greckles that one time. Oh, let's not go there, please. Oh, no, yes. we, we, no, we killed that one. We killed that one. I'm sorry. Well, the point being is that we head into the swamp and go down further south and we'll find our quarry. Okay. This thing's gotta be big, right? With a name like a frog hemoth, I'd hope so. It's got emoth in it. Isn't that like the biggest, like, scale of size? So, unless it's hiding under a bunch of mud, has flashbacks to being eaten, <laughs> this shouldn't be too hard to find, then. Alright, well, no time like the present, in then, gentlemen, unless you don't want to keep going. Alright, uh, mount that, up! That reminds me, hang on a second. Kuriyama-san, do you know what a frog is? <laughs> do I know what a frog is? <laughs> <laughs> These are the questions, man. Like, I almost answered, and then I was like, wait. <laughs> you've heard that there... You've heard of frogs. There are stories involving frogs. There are none in the elemental plane of fire, but apparently there are some in the elemental plane of water in the essentially the frozen section, the the frozen part of the elemental plane of water. The frozen food section of the elemental yeah, plane of water. Yeah, <laughs> there's ice frogs, you've heard. Ice toads there. But you've never seen one, so yeah, you don't know what they look like at all. I am familiar with the concept of frogs, though I believe I have yet to meet one. I'll, I'll, I'll explain on the way. Don't worry about it, I just want you to be ready. Once you... upon a time, there was a rogue named Greckles Birdman. And Hansaki, mush, mush, mush. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, <let's> go. <laughs> All right Greckles. Greckles was trying to play it safe. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, uh, I can't describe the physical motion of play it safe with his hands are out to the side. Play it safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys take off on your beasts. Riding through town, uh, you watch as you guys are running out of town, you watch as like all the children in the village are like running next to you for a while, like as you guys are leaving out the exit of the city, they're like chasing you with like not like aggressively with sticks, but like running next to you and they're like they're like hi hi like kind of yelling at you as you guys are running. Your beasts don't really notice, they're really focused on running. Uh, yeah. but these like probably six or seven like kids from ages like probably seven to like 14 like chase after you guys like running next to you like kind of racing you like you know as a kid how you race cars on occasion yeah. um like doing that until eventually you guys reach the end and as you guys leave and turn back they all wave towards you as you guys run off hey, and Monty. down over the mountains yep as we start to to get away i'm gonna have volo turn around and jump up on his hind legs and just two gusts of winds with his wings just to kind of blow wind in their hair 
<laughs> sure, I'm go ahead and roll a handle animal check for that. Oh boy. Uh, and on their way out of town. Nat, nat 20, the Animal tornado. handling or Griffin riding? Griffin riding. Uh, riding. Griffin riding. Uh, riding. Griffin, Griffin, let's do Griffin riding. Let's do Griffin okay. riding. Come on. Yeah. 26. Ooh. Nice. Yep. Enough. Yeah, you do it. And the kids like all scream and like laugh as you do it. Uh, one little girl gets dust in her eye and she starts kind of crying a little bit, but the elder Come siblings are like, a bit. It's just a kid, dude. <laughs> But fucking overall, heal. overall, they're they're <laughs> overjoyed as you make your way towards the swamplands. So, who is uh, heading this journey? This is not one of your favorite trains, Chas. This is a swamp. no. It is not. No. Uh, still the tracker. I would reckon. I would still trust Taz to track in okay. anything. I would. I would say Taz first. Borky second. Greco's third. I mean, chime in, please. I'm Seika would have dude. to be next to you. That means panic, behind. and I'll get Remy will bring up the rear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take I'll take front. I mean, look if you want to if you want to take point, uh, like if you want to get in front of Greckles, that's fine. I am not, not being fight. in the rear anymore. <laughs> no, Remy's in the rear. You're in front of him. I would say unless unless directed that because as far as as he knows, we're still just like moving around. So unless directed to be in a more defensive position, he would remain behind you. I mean, Last this is this in the rear. I got pierced. This, uh, uh, <laughs> no, this 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 is this is a delicate situation. So if he would take point, like, take point, like, okay, okay. then you yeah, he'll you. be he'll be in front hey, of Greco. Hey, Monty. Right. Yep. Uh, Avahi has a climb speed. Mm -hmm. I want to get up in a tree and do some scouting. Um, you can attempt to, yeah. These trees aren't that thick, though. These are, like, really wiry, like, um, Mysteria and, like, witch's hair trees. They're not... The ground here is not conducive for growth of large foliage in the terms of, like, trees. Well, um, in any case, I would like to at least make an attempt. Sure, with disadvantage, you can make a, uh, you can make a climb check. It's just the trees here aren't that tall that would really give you... For Avahi or point. for me? Uh, for Avahi. Avahi is a 1d20 plus 3. All right, so one moment. So let me just roll these twice, and we'll say plus 3 to both of them. Ooh. Yikes. Ooh. That's a nat 1. Never mind. That's a nat 1. Avahi, you kind of you kind of kick the side of Avahi, and with great enthusiasm, Avahi jumps on top of a tree, which it promptly snaps, uh, <laughs> and he plunges head first into the water. Oh. Ooh. And start splashing around. You oh no. Oh, oh no. I threw those dice. Uh I'm assuming a 22 hits of Ahi, right? I'd imagine so, yes. Suddenly a large hissing noise erupts from the water surrounding all of you as you're running. And immediately all your bees stop as a massive crocodile snaps out of Ahi and hits. And Avahi is going to take. Oh, bros. Sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Uh, that's going to be 14 points of piercing damage Ooh. as a giant Ooh. crocodile just bursts from the water, grabs Avahi by the shoulder, and just starts death rolling Avahi. You get flung off of Avahi and land on the ground, and I need everybody to roll initiative for me. Wow, Jesus that was fast. fast. Yeah, that didn't take time at all. Fucking hell. Ooh. All right, 19. I'll take the uh, 20. 23. Nine for Remy. I'm trying to find the initiative for fucking Avani. Don't don't worry about don't worry about uh, rolling for your beasts, by the way. At this point, uh, as the fight 12. begins, they are gonna make their way out of combat. So just for the right. sake of ease. Good, good, good. Yeah. We gotta we respawn the Vahi. Uh in, the, in that case, I will get off Volo and let him guard them so that this guy right. doesn't try to go after them. It's like an MMO when you enter combat and you're you're you fly off your mountain. Yeah. Just, just also, also that plus eight to initiative. Holy cow! Shut <laughs> up. Here is our good. map. Whoa, oh, Lordy. Oh, that's a big gator. It's fucking huge. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty big, but let's still go. Well, I still need to go to the I still need to go to the 7-Eleven, so distract it. Wow. I'm gonna oh. get a better song. I want something a bit more bum 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 bum. I'm so far away. Dude, I want some banjos, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> 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 this 
No, this is... Okay, not that one. Ooh, exotic battle. That sounds like fun. We're in a swamp. Here we go. That's good. That's uh, good. The there we go. Order, I cannot control my token. Oh, yeah. I just... I had to... I realized as I was writing the introduction that I had to fix that for you, so give me one half a second here. No worries. And uh, half a second expired. There are hey guys people in this game. There you go, Mark. <laughs> Hi, everybody in voice chat. <laughs> What's going down? Oh. Hello. Hello. How is the music too loud? Chat, let me chat. Yeah. Let me know if the music's too loud. I can control it now. OK, awesome. Yeah, I just fixed the, the settings for you. Come. All right, so everybody rolled initiative. Let me just roll for the enemy here with my diehard dice. Diehard die 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 dice? Wow, that's the greatest great. dice that you can't sponsor. Speak. <laughs> uh, All chat saying it's good, by the way. Okay, perfect. So panic. It's me. You got a you got a really nice roll there, and then say sure <laughs> you got a. Hey, I like your roll there. Yeah, thanks. I made it like, myself. Um, <laughs> and then we have Borky. Hi, I'm Borky the Oak. And then we have Greckles. Good rolls, guys. <sighs> you say that. And then yeah. we have task. Plus, oh, negative 14 minus. That's going to put a nightmare. there. Please tell me Remy goes last. Oh, I forgot about Remy. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Good! Remy's Excellent. last. I had to, like, cram Ooh. you in the bottom because I ran out of space. Anyway. Hey, I appreciate it. I'll just, man, first Greco's now Monty. Great. You jump off of a uh, rather distressed um, Judas who kind of like the the lizard hounds for the sake of the sake of brevity, they all kind of like go butt to butt and like are at, at odds. Like they're kind of a defensive stance and they are out of combat. Same with the bull. The bull just is kind of standing stationary. <laughs> Move. All right, He's so in panic. Sleep mode. You were up first, and you watch as uh, you watch as Task's lizard hound Abahi just scrambles away from the grip. He's taking some damage. He's got a giant bark mark on his side. As the crocodile like looks with his beady eye and just hisses and looks towards Task, another morsel potentially to eat. Oh, gosh. Uh. Okay. Let's see now. Eto, oh, I am going to. Uh, I'll let. I will let it slide for this arc. Uh, <laughs> that's smart uh, involving me. Who, who are we kidding? <laughs> also, also, Taf, uh, Tarisk is over here. Where, where, who? Tarisk is over, over here side. with Seika. I'm gonna okay. give you control of him as well. Okay. Because, oh, not Borky, me. There we go. So I do not me. want him in combat. Let him just let him I was going to say, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, look this thing in the eyes, play, play a little ditty on my guitar, and my eyes are going to flash yellow, and I'm going to stare directly into its eyes, uh, and I'm going to cast Phantasmal Force. Okay. <laughs> It has to make a saving throw. A intelligent saving throw. <laughs> Big alligator brain, let's go. That is an 18 minus four, which makes it a 14. Wow. Uh, he fails in that case. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am going to make the most delicious looking plump uh fish be flopping on the ground right about uh right about he hears away so here's to, away to the south way. of his position right now so yeah away I'm going, from path to the south okay it's going to have like glistening scales and and just be the fattest most plump delicious fish he's ever seen in his life okay all right can you click a spell for me just so we have it up on screen as reference so I can look I hope up? you're ready for a wall. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm ready for a wall. Oh my god! Oh uh, my god! god. <laughs> you cast an illusion that takes root in the mind of a creature you can see within range. Da 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 da, failed saving throw. You can create a uh, visible phenomenon of your choice that is no longer than a 10 foot cube. Con Connor, make camp there, make for the summit tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> The gross wow. thing about the gross thing about the spell though is that if, if a creature like tries to attack or move through it and doesn't, it still thinks it's real. 
Yeah. The phantom includes sound, temperature, and other stimuli also evident to the creature, so he, it smells delicious, too. It smells and it delicious probably tastes delicious. delicious as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, and for my bonus action, I uh, might as well do this. Uh, I am going to use a use of my bardic inspiration yeah, to... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to target. By the way, uh, all of the ground is difficult terrain. It is swampy. So for those oh. of you who don't have abilities that prevent difficult terrain, cool. all movement is halved. It is a swamp land. I That's will target job. task. Ray. I will I will target, wait, one, two, three, four, five. I target all, all of my party members. Okay. Neat. Should we get does that right? include, does it? That, does that include Tarisk? No. Okay. Does what do we get again? Sanka? Blam. You can move. You can yes. move half of okay. your movement. So move you and temp, temp HP. How much, yep. though? You, you get, uh, I believe, we it's are 11 at, now, isn't it? It is not, it's it not 11. 11. It's, uh... Nine? It is 11, yeah. Oh, is 11? 11. What do you mean it's not 11? Hey! Okay, well, I, quick, thought, quick, I, I thought it was 8. I'm getting used so to quick, this. Quick question. Is movement speed halved for this ability? Yes, unless yes. Okay. it says otherwise. Okay. But, you don't, but you don't get attacks of opportunity. Right. Uh, and that'll be my turn. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and scooch back with the last of my is movement here. Yeah, I'll use my 50 feet. Uh, this is considered huge. Yeah, huge. huge. That's at the third level. Okay, because there's like three boxes. Him big! All right. That's, that's all for me, folks. <laughs> all right, that brings us to Seika. It is now your turn. Seika. Oh, boy, can't wait. Uh, as, we as we had just moved, uh, he would have taken a uh, position in, uh, in between the crocodile or alligator? Uh, it is a crocodile. Uh, in between the crocodile and uh, Greckles. And uh, <gasps> without turning away, he'll kind of call over his shoulder. How would you like me to engage, Denka? Subdue the creature by any means necessary. Uh, instantly, I am going to uh, unarmed strike on the big galoof. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. Crocodile. Uh, nice. <laughs> that, that will definitely hit. Cool. Uh, oh. so I'm gonna do damage, maybe. <laughs> Cold clock the motherfucker upside the head. Uh, All right so then. So it's damage. just seven. It's just seven just because kidding. the four, right, the four is from the crit. The four is yeah. from the crit mm -hmm. on the other side. Seven, so damage. seven damage. Uh, I'm also. Uh, he will also say, uh, "Tomare," and then I'm gonna spend a key point to stunning strike. Okay. Woo! I'm happy. Constitution saving throw needs to be a thirteen. Constitution saving throw. Unfortunately, got a 19, natural 19. What? This is a very, sure. very hardy creature, unfortunately. That's all good. Uh, and then I will use my extra attack to hit him again. Okay. Hit him in Wait, the Wait, no, can I do that? Oh. Hold on. I think Stunning Strike Yeah, you can action. bonus action. Bonus action. Stunning yeah. Strike is just you can do it. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Hmm. I'm gonna fucking do it again. Hits. 11, unfortunately, misses. <laughs> I'm fucking do it again. You strike once, you like do an uppercut to this this crocodile's chin and like he watches a couple of teeth go flying through the air. Uh, you go for the stunning strike around the neck, but as you punch, it's just too thick on one side. You have to really get a precise shot. Uh, but you swing around and do another punch, but it manages to kind of move its head out of the way, noticing your movement. And then as it moves, it notices the fish. It's like, just the eyes, the eyes just kind of acknowledge the fish down to the south. Gotcha. Also, I don't right. know if it matters, but just for your reference, um, my attacks do uh, count as magical. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's the same as druids at the same level. They get their their <sighs> ah, magical the good old their days. transformations. Yeah. All right. Do you want to move anything else? That's your bonus your action. Your bonus action. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay put. Okay. That brings us around to Borky. It is now your turn. Well, yo sha, yo sha. Borky whips out Ronfault. All right, you but, shing pull out Ronfault. But instead, I activate Intimidating Presence. Okay. What's on the gator? Your, this takes your action, which means you can't get your two attacks off. I'm 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 aware. I'm aware. Okay. Okay. Um, we should put the number of what your thing would be because it's your proficiency bonus eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your charisma modifier. Um. So, so it's probably four is the probably the proficiency bonus. I don't know what his charisma is. Your proficiency bonus is four. Twelve plus your charisma, so it's going to be thirteen. DC thirteen. Okay. 
A DC Power three. So Borky slaps his chest and just does a classic orc roar, just right in the thing's ear hole where his ear should be to get his attention. Uh, that's awful. That is going to be a uh, a five. Oh no! Oh, it, I'm I'm literally like Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber. Hey, do you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> 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 oh no! <laughs> right in its goddamn ear. So that means it is frightened of me until the end of my next turn. What does that mean it, exactly? It, no, it, right, it has to move away from you. It has to use its movement to get the fuck away from you as far as possible. Uh, it does not. It is. I don't know if that's the case. I'm gonna double check because I'm pretty sure I know what it is. You can't okay. willingly move to a creature. I know that's definitely a thing. Yeah. Uh, where is frightened? Oh, there it is. Alligator. Chase the crap so out of this bear. A, a frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight, and the creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. So it stays where it is or it can move, but if it's going to move, it can't move closer to Borky. Perfect. Okay. Excellent, excellent, yeah. excellent. And okay. any attack that it makes while Borky is still conscious is going to be with disadvantage. Six, so you uh, just gave it disadvantage. Um, and I... it's permanent. It doesn't get to repeat the, the saving throw. Uh, Fuck, really? Oh, so, till, the end of, yeah. till the end of next turn. Oh, so wait, on subsequent turns, you can use your action to extend the duration of this effect. So it's only until the next turn. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't make a saving throw, which is nice. So so no. is it, is it, does it only have disadvantage with Borky attacking or anyone attacking? Uh, it has disadvantage with anybody. So if it tries okay. to attack, you know, if it were to try to attack Remy right now, it would have disadvantage mm -hmm. because Borky's right behind it and within line of sight. Yeah, this is my uh, new ability I got. Yeah. Nice. This is the one I've, I've been holding back on using this until it was the right enemy type, so this is going to be it. And for my bonus action, I go into a rage. Am I allowed to do that with rage? Yeah, absolutely. I go into another wall of text called rage. Normal rage? <laughs> normal rage, yeah, normal yeah, rage. want to avoid that exhaustion. All right, you nope, go into your rage. That. Uh, that brings us ah! out to Greckles. It is now Greckles' turn. All right. Uh, Money, if I position myself here, uh, will that be successful flanking? Uh, yes, that will be successful flanking. Excellent. Let me see here. Cool. I'm going to bonus action dash. I right, am. As you do that and you splash across the water, what you didn't realize oh dear. is that next to you is a green snout perfectly camouflaged into the foliage of the swamp. So as you run away... Unbeknownst to you, you're going to take an attack of opportunity. Monty, why do you do this to me out. every time? <laughs> because you literally ran right into it on my mm. DM screen. Mm. Convenient. Can you do me a favor and not get eaten in the first fight? <laughs> Dude, you should have been here. You should have been here last time we were at this Bro, swamp, you, man. That, that's a really hard God, fucking ass I hate on this Reckles. fucking swamp. I, yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. So man. as you run, move your token to where you're going. Okay, I am bonus action dashing and I am mobile. So... But you didn't attack, so you you. No, no, no. This, this, no. This is this is this is to make up for the the lack of movement. Because oh, it's you mean the, the difficult, difficult train. train. Yeah, yeah, yes. you're good. So, so I'm taking my full eighty. <laughs> it oh, good. snaps oh, at good. you. Cool. As you go running, it just like the move mouth moves sideways, and he snaps at you. He he bites your leg a bit, but you manage to scramble out. You're gonna take damage. already oh. failing at my job of protecting you. <laughs> oh my god. Out. It's alright, Mark. You're used to this. I just, I just explode because I failed my <laughs> action. Um, first Hesmir, now now Greckles. Like, Whoa, his, his, hey, his fucking soon. hair just fizzles out and he falls uh, over. You take 16 style. points of piercing damage as your leg is oh! bitten, Greckles. Okay, well, there goes all the... Hey, 10 HP. I was going to say, thank hey, god. You're welcome. <laughs> it's okay to say I saved you. <laughs> Okay, so uh, position squawking from that. Um, Seika, you you see him pull out a blade made of just pure light uh, as it crests and moves, uh, hopefully striking down on this other gator. Now we have multiple things to worry about. Uh, let's see here. Kia. Oh no, I'm about to get flanked. That nice. is five, six, twenty-seven to hit. Yeah, that hits. Mm. Yeah, no damage. All right. And sneak attack, buddy, because you got two allies yep. next to it. So that's eleven plus. Ooh, that's a bad roll. Uh, thirteen. 13. So I, 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 I'm doing the math right now. Don't worry. Okay. That that hurts. That hurt it really badly. You like you take it like a downward strike, and you like you go all the way through its tail. 
and it just like lets out this horrible hissing noise. You have to pull out your blade as its tail like swings around. Bork, you have to duck. Saika, you also you like do like a limbo duck, like you just lean back just without even thinking. As this thing just like hisses out and blood just like sprays across the ground from the sword wound. All right, so that's twenty. Um, I still got another sixty feet to work with. So let's. You know what? Let's uh, let's let's. I don't like that other gator there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the rest of my uh, movement to to. Uh, as you go running, you run down the length of the crocodile you just hit, and you like as it snaps towards you, it like you jump off of the front of its face, do like a front foot, and land on the marshy ground. Water and mud like spraying across your feet as you actually land a solid, probably a uh, good foot into the mud, but manage to like pull yourself out and uh, land on the ground. Li- oh, not this again! This, little did you know that Shocking. this too was a gator you stepped on. Yeah, I know, right? I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting. Just lands see directly in an open maw. I'm waiting for it. All right. Um, yeah, that's 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 good for me. All right. It is now the enemy's turn. Immediately, I don't like this crocodile sandwich. This crocodile is gonna go for that fish that's down here. So oh Gorky and Seika, you're gonna get a tax opportunity, but not Remy because he's not gonna leave your combat space. Cool. Punch it. I will. <laughs> I'm gonna slash it. I will miss. That is gonna be a miss, <laughs> unfortunately. It. Slash it. And Borky? Natural one! (gasps) No! Okay, no severity. Uh, The best first impression. I'm so glad that the last show of Combat Force was good, because that was going to be horrible. It's a four, not severe. You're fine. You just miss. I was going to say, didn't we all use our reactions? No. No. Uh, anybody that moves on the, oh, the right. spell that panic yeah. cast, oh, you don't get one. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. shoot. So Nick oh. Back, but it doesn't matter anyway, because you guys just both miss because yeah, you guys both suck ass. Anyway, so it's like nothing yeah. happened. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, that crocodile yeah. is going to try and eat that fish that you created, Panic. Does anything happen when he attempts to eat it? Eh? Well, the target it... can use his action to investigate <clears throat> the phantasm with an intelligence check against your spell save DC. Oh, good luck. Uh, okay. So it is, I guess, it, because it's going to eat it, I'll just say I'm going to roll an investigation check as it, it investigates the flavor. Okay. <laughs> right here. Yeah, Chef Croc here investigating. Uh, nine. Fish. It uh, that, really that likes failed. it. It's a good fish. It's eating it. Yeah, dude. Nice. All right. The other crocodile immediately, Seika. Like with these two giant like dinosaur like legs just like slaps in the water and rushes towards you and like goes to like drag you into the water. It's gonna attempt to bite you. Yay. Uh-huh. Uh that is going to be a that's really good. That's a twenty-seven. That's really, really good. Uh you might find this surprising, but uh that hits. Mm. Oh what yeah, this oh, geez, wild, dude. Whoa. Uh, you, take, you take 14 points of piercing damage. Goodbye, temporary hit points. <laughs> That's why they're there. Don't worry. <laughs> and for its second attack, it's going to swing around and try and bash you with its tail. As it fails to drag you into the water, you resist it and manage to dodge out of its way. It swings around its whole body and goes to swipe at you with its tail. Uh, that's a natural one. Excellent. Oh, Does it bite its own drop tail? Its tail, yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? Hold on. Bite the tail. <laughs> Our severity. Okay. Uh, for flavor, it, it didn't roll that severely. As it swings and, like, s- goes to smack you with its tail, you take the back of your palm and, like, basically, like, use your monk technique to deflect, like, almost guide the tail over your head and, like, throw it to the ground, almost, like, like, re-guiding it. Like, if it were in slow motion, you took your hand behind the tail as it came towards you, you ducked your head under it, you took your other hand, and you, like, you just basically did, like, a forced palm to shove it to the ground, just passing over you. And in such nice. a quick speed, it showed, It seemed like you deflected it, essentially. The old Aikido technique. Right? The third crocodile. Uh, what? Yeah. I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Par- par- pardon? <laughs> Rises up from the water. Oh, all right. Nice you know, third crocodile. Flower on his head. Aww. Got it. Perfect. Excellent. And oh, good. why is he on the, oh. why is he on the map, Blair? 
Oh, I, don't I don't know, Monty. Why is he on the map layer? Wait a minute. There's he is going to go for more. little baby Taurus. No! Oh, no! I just want a magic Taurus because just like in full-blown anime mascot. La la la. <laughs> like, like a baby Tarrasque! chick in the nest calling for help, Task. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew this was going to happen. That misses, actually. That's a 10. It goes to bite Taurus, and Taurus like, manages to scramble out of the way, but it is going to swing with its tail. Uh, and that is definitely going to hit with the tail. That's a lot less damage, luckily. Oh, God. Uh, Taurus is going to take 10 points of, of bludgeoning damage. All right. As he, he manages to avoid the, the very much more dangerous jaws, but does get smacked onto the ground with the tail and lets out this horrible, horrible yelping noise. That ends the crocodile's turn. Uh, Task, it is now your turn. Oh, Papa's pissed. Mm hmm. Uh, so, I just want to double check this real quick. Mm hmm. <laughs> you alter time up around six creatures of your choice in a 40 foot cube. Ah, very good. Uh, so this is this is single target. This is different. It's not one to one with the, uh, the slow spell. I specified well, that it's only one target. I could still proc it and attack though. Yes. Ah, uh, or... this is this is a free action, so it doesn't take an action to do it. I don't think, unless it says it shouldn't. It says the cast no, it... is one action. But this is this is this isn't the spell. This is an effect of his uh his yeah, boon that the... he has with Aos. Oh, got it. Yep. So. so fucking slowing down time on that motherfucker yeah, right there. Yeah, free action. I'm gonna say free action, but it can only affect one target creature, so one creature can be hasted and one creature can be slowed. Okay, cool. We'll slow his motherfucking ass down. The one in front of Tarsk? Yep. Alright, that's a... I believe that the saving throw should be on the information. It's pretty high. Uh, it was a... Buppity, 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 buppity... Bobbity, boobity? Yeah, it's yeah, cozy. Bobbity, boobity, 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 uh, that is absolutely gonna fail. I'm assuming it's a wisdom saving throw. Yes. That is a three. So it is. Oof. You watch as the crocodile goes to bite Taurus and just like, the like slow motion, like Michael Ooh. Bay movie style, just like slow moving. And like Taurus is like looking at you and then looking back at the crocodile and then looking at you. This crocodile has been slowed down. None of you All guys right. have seen this before, by the way. This is very weird. Ooh. And Tash just like holds his arm out and just like fucking tells and just like in fucking draconic yells at it to stop and just Um sorry, I just want to confirm this. When you use your um uh Connor, mm -hmm. when you use your summon devil, that takes the spell action, correct? How have you been ruling that? It's been it's been Let using a well, it, we've been we've been ruling it as an action. Okay, so this is going to take your action then, task if you're cool with that. If, so I can't attack twice. You can't attack twice, but it is slowed pretty much permanently, I believe, uh, or at least until the end of its turn. But it is slowed, so. All right. Well, I'm just going to give ta I'm going to give Tarsk an order. I'm uh, is is his turn on my end? Yeah, his turn is after you. All right. Uh. I'm going to tell him it doesn't have reactions either. It's gone. It has no reactions. Very good. Stand to the side and light them up. Do I have control? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. All right. Uh, here we go. He's going to waddle himself on over this way. Lightning strike on both the crocodiles. OK. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, and the load has disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, minus, minus, it's disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Uh, he to, blah, 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 takes a negative two penalty to AC and dexterity saving throws. And can't use uh, reactions. And can't oh. use reactions. So it's got negative two to the dexterity saving, saving throws, not with disadvantage. Okay, so they have to beat a DC of 12. Uh, nine for the first crocodile. Ooh. Second crocodile. Uh, that is going to be a 14. Well, he takes half damage then. Okay. So this yeah, is going sure. to be... Oh, no, 15. That's going to be a 15, so... Yeah, then he takes half damage, but this is still going to be 4d10 lightning damage. All right, go ahead and roll it. 4d10 lightning damage. Wow. 22 I lightning. I think that's what's written on the actual, like, uh, creature block as well as 22. Yeah, yeah, so uh, 20... 
22 so damage on the slowed one, and the other one takes 11. You watch as Taurus, like, mouth kind of coalesces. It's almost like, you know, when an anime dragon, like, shoots fire, and there's, like, this sucking in and, like, the ball, and then just an explosion comes out. You guys all in the area smell burnt ozone as Taurus' head, like, jettisons backwards, and just this concussive, large lightning strike bursts from his mouth and crackles across the battlefield. Uh, the first crocodile, uh, it, for lack of a better, it gets pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you watch as it like turns in slow motion as the lightning bolt just like bashes its head to the side. The other one manages to duck, but it does strike it on the chin a little bit. It's going to take 11 points of damage. All right. Wait, let me double check his movement speed. He has a fly speed. He's huh. still a baby. He cannot fly. You haven't. He has a, he has a bu- all right. He has a burrow speed and a and a and a land speed. Can you I would, dig? I would not recommend burrowing burrowing into water because that is fair where enough. You're currently fair enough. And then where he moved is fine. Where he moved yeah. is fine. Is he? I don't want to be discouraging. He could. He's not amphibious. No, <laughs> he will drown. Let, let me let me double check something real quick. Snap the center. He was over here. Yes. One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. I'm good. All right. That brings us around now to Remy. Awesome. So seeing all this stuff happen behind him, he's going to go one, two to cut this dra- uh, not dragon, to cut this gator <laughs> off. Um, and then he will then turn around at having heard Taurus scream out, see what just happened with Task. He is going to hold out his hand and uh, cast, and you all hear him call it, Ed con lead him! And in between and to the back of both gators, shatter. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Oof. nice. Oh, shit. Uh, so that's throw, I it's gonna be a DC 13. Okay. Uh, first crocodile got a 21. So then he takes three. And then the other one, ooh, that's not good. The other one, uh, six. The second Great. one fails. He, he takes seven damage, and All because right. he failed, hang on. Uh, let me see if there's a different. First one's gonna that take three. A lot of boots out of these guys, and they were made for walking. A lot of boots. And yeah. Okay, that's it. Never mind. I thought it he took got me like a he good not. solid second to figure out what you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> not a boost to be had. That was a know. garbage roll, but whatever. That was my plan. So yeah, there's that. There's cool. a concussive blast between the two crocodiles. The one that's slowed, like it gets hit, and you watch it's just in slow motion. It's reacting to the spell. The other one, <laughs> like to see the ripples across its skin. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, the other one, um, like, gets, like, thrown to the ground. Its head smashes against the ground. Uh, Remy, that was your, I believe, your action. Uh, correct. And you have a bonus action, and you have the move. That's gonna do it, that's gonna do it for my turn. Okay. I need to get that out. Panic, it is now your turn. All right, well, that, that crocodile is, that's chewing on that fish, uh, is gonna find out real quick why it shouldn't, uh, be live feeding, because that fish is wriggling around inside it, and it's going to take 1d6 psychic damage from that. Oh, okay. You watch as, like, like, the crocodile, like, goes, like, twists its head to the side and grabs the fish and just kind of snaps it into itself, and you watch as immediately, uh, like, acid kind of begins to drip out of its mouth as it, like, kind of, like, tries to, like, throw the fish up, and it's going to take psychic damage? Uh, yeah, it's going to take... Uh, Does it make uh, any saving uh, throw against it, or is it just automatic? Nope, I just do it. Wow, all right, go right uh, ahead. It so bad, but it tastes so good. <laughs> Each round on my turn while I'm concentrating on the spell, it takes 1d6 psychic damage. Okay. Uh, this guy's rolled damage. Roll 1d6. Uh, any second now. Oh, two. Two points. <laughs> two psychic damage. All right. Ay, ay, ay. What do I do in this situation? Why are we hurt by the things we love? <laughs> I'm gonna. Also, for the sake of the spell's distracting effect, another fish has appeared in front of it. <laughs> cool toothfish! <laughs> and it's just as tantalizing despite the stomach ache. <laughs> He's like, mom lets him have two fish. This thing <laughs> is is dumb. This thing is dumb. So. <laughs> uh, uh, shouldn't eat any more bud. Ooh, piece <laughs> of candy. Uh, ooh, piece of candy, indeed. Uh... <laughs> Cha-cha-cha-cha. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scooch back a little bit further. Just okay. a little bit further in your task. 
Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait, wait. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to then ta -ta -ta -ta, look over at yeah, Borky's within range. Going to going to play him a little, a little, little ditty. I'm going to play a little ditty for Borky and he's going to get some bardic inspiration. Fuck yeah. What dice is that now? A D10. Nice. Wow. Bardic inspiration. inspiration. The power of rock. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. All right. He panics. Is that end your turn? It does. Seika, it's now your turn. Well, I don't like the alligator that just tried to kill me. Uh, so I'm going to punch it. Okay. Justifiable. <laughs> Nice! Yay! Oh, boy. That's good. Natural That's really good. 20. Good punch. Uh, take some damage. Okay. You, as this crocodile um, goes to bite it, you actually, like, you throw your arm into its mouth right to the back of its throat. And before it can even bite down, you clench your fist inside of its throat, and it begins to thrash and flail as it cannot breathe. And while it cannot breathe, you take your other fist and you just start bashing this thing in its eye, just like multiple oh. times over and over again with your attack. That's nine points of damage to that one. To uh, to continue uh, giving this guy a, a very powerful headache, I'm gonna also spend another key point uh, to do Flurry of Blows. These are both gonna be with advantage due to your natural 20 and the way that you've taken advantage of the situation. Excellent. Oh God. So both these attacks are with advantage. 16 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Yep. 16 twice, apparently. Nice. Oh, identical rolls. And damage. 6 and 7, that's going to be 13. You guys watch as Sega just starts, like, almost, like, um, not as refined, but literally is, like, the crocodile is, like, flashing him, and you watch as Sega kind of twists his arm around, kind of brings his legs up, like, kind of saddled behind the neck of the crocodile and is taking his other hand and just striking the head and striking the neck of the alligator that like eventually you manage to get spit out you kind of like roll and you land on your hands but there's some solid shots you just made to this this crocodile's vitals and this um, is and another attack we learn the triangle hold my friends uh unarmed strike and then two bonus action unarmed strikes yep. i believe that's no but you have extra good. attack your pass level five is a monk yeah, yeah that is right does that you have is an attack right. yeah. throw me really far or am i just in place no you're right in front of it so you're right where you started cool. essentially punch it again i'm gonna punch i want to flavor this as a kick just so i'm not a one trick kick pony. punch it's all in the mind there's a twist have. that hits go ahead and roll damage there you go oh, like nine crap points. Crap cool. Take i sure did connor bless you as it spits you out and kind of shakes its head, it goes to bite you again, and you just like you like front kick like the top of its mouth, and you hear a cracking noise, and it <laughs> like kind of rears back like a dinosaur in pain. As you get another solid shot off, let me just do some math here real quick. Fight me, bro. Yeah, bro. And they're spicy hits. They're they're Ooh, they're, they're, they're made what of fire, so it fire. They're pretty fiery, yeah. Yeah. All right, that brings us. I'm assuming that ends your turn. Yes. That brings us to Borky. It is not yeah! Borky. Okay, so. Okay, I can move. If I'm right here, does this count as flanking? You might want to uh, you have to be, you have to be right behind it. Right behind him? Okay. Yeah. Dang, you have to make a there. straight line, like completely direct for it to be. Flanking. In the way I, that's the way I'm running it in this game. It has to be a sandwich. It has yeah. to be a murder sandwich. Oh, that's fine. Well, Borky's gonna swing away then. Are you gonna move to that space? No, I'm not. I'm gonna stay okay. right here. As a matter of fact. Alrighty. First attack. Actually, actually, can I move in front of a creature without taking? As long as I'm in its zone of danger. If as long as you're in your zone of attack, you do not take an attack of opportunity. So if you want to move halfway at least. I move this. I move to the left side. You see. You feel Borky. Kind of running past you, excuse me, Chodamata, and then Borky <laughs> comes in, <laughs> ah, and slams down with a Ruan Fault onto that particular one. 15. That hits. Yay. 11 plus 3. That's 14 points of damage. Boom. First swing, you slice against its side. Second swing. 23. Yeah. That hits. Go and roll damage. 
Seven plus three. That's gonna be ten. And finally, the third attack. Uh, you do not get a third attack because you are not in your um, frenzy. Right. Other frenzy. hyper rage. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, that's on me. Yeah. And that ends my third. All righty, that brings us around to Greckles. It is now your turn. All right. Greckleson. All right. Uh, bonus action dash because hey. God, I, I love that feat. Hang on a second. I'm not counting. 30, 40. Oh, it's only half the movement. So Greckles is just going to slide between Borky's legs in a, in a, in a dash. And as he does, uh, Seika, you're going to hear, Kuriyama-san, Gokuro. Uh, just, just good job. Uh, and he's just going to slide parallel with this croc and just bring out that glowing blade one more time. Key up. Plus two. Oh, oh Greckles is falling oh, right yeah. now. 15. Oh, 15. 15. 15. It's 15. 15, because you're flanking. 15. 15 hits, and you get sneak attack. Yay, boy. Oh, Jesus. So 13. Not the five. Whoa. It's 13, 13 though. That's, though. That's a high. That's your max roll damage. Max roll damage. Yeah. Plus Eight. 20. Oh, oh this, this, 30, 33 Bye. points of damage. Seikai, you watch as Greckles like slides between the, the legs of not only Borky, but also this crocodile, swings up behind it, takes his uh the glowing sword and drives it through the back of the head of this crocodile as its entire body just boom makes the entire ground shake as it falls down to the ground dead uh i, I would like to as a free action uh bow to seika for his hit for his assistance for sure you do quick though <laughs> uh that was your yeah that was your yeah action. that's everything that's everything um yeah that's turn all right, that brings us around to the crocodile's turn. Uh, first, the crocodile to the south that's currently eating that fish is going to eat that fish. Eat that fish. <laughs> <laughs> eat fish. But have, you, have you considered eating the fish? It's so dumb, dude. It rolled on their... <laughs> oh, my God. And I haven't yeah. attacked it, so it has no reason to pay attention to anything else. I love Nine. It's so dumb. It eats, it uh, yeah, eats the that's... second fish. How? Oh. It just, like, pulls oh, it, like... No. No, crocodile, you shouldn't live feed. No, no. So well, a crocodile, you can... some Pepto -Bismol. Crocodiles, you can actually feed them like live fish. It's not not when it's illusory fish that does psychic damage. That is true, though. Uh, so that takes up its turn because it's going to eat the fish. Yeah, uh, this yeah, yeah, yeah. down crocodile has half movement, I believe. Uh, it is it speed. hindered by the difficult terrain around here or not? No, these guys have a swim speed, so they okay. and they're naturally a swamp. They're crocodiles, dude. They they I know not the plan. enough to see an ask. Yeah, they have both a swim and a movement speed, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> On its turn, you can either use an action or a bonus action, not both. Ooh. Uh, regardless of the creature's abilities or magical items, it can it can't make more than one melee attack or ranged attack during its turn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And its movement is halved. Uh, but it is going to move towards Borky. Oh, no. That's better than Tarisk. I was going to yeah. say. Yeah. Boom. At least he's I think it's more afraid though. of Tarisk now than it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, yeah I hit that thing and this fucking little, little cobalt destroyed me. Uh, it's going to try and go. Is it with disadvantage to hit? Uh... Slew. No. Yeah. Blow does not it give a disadvantage, control. no. No. Uh, that is going to be a 24 to hit you, Borky, with a bite attack. Oh, yeah, that hits me. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. What was that number? Uh, I, I just moved the dice to get my 20, 10, 24. So I think it was 24, oh. yeah. So you said 28. I was like, Jesus. I mean, that is also, well, actually not really possible. Um, that's going to be 11 points of piercing damage to you, Borky. Cut in half to Ooh. five. So you take five points of piercing damage as this thing bites your leg in slow motion. Like you turn and you see it slowly <laughs> doing it and you're like, don't you do it. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Howard's like we, the, the fucking steamroller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Get out of the way! No! <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's going to repeat its saving throw at the end of its turn. Yep. <laughs> These crocodiles are dumb as fuck, dude. I'm <laughs> rocks, money. What do you expect? That's gonna be a nine. It is still slow. Nope, nope. He's still going slow. 
He's still slow mo. Yep. All right, that ends the crocodile's turn. Task, it is now your turn. I command right. Tars to get over to panic, okay. and I will look at this one fucking asshole gator, and I'm gonna take shots. All right, go ahead. It's got a minus two penalty to its AC, so. Ow. Where did yeah. I go? Twenty. That hits. You bring out the porcelain bow, and you pull back your hand, and you watch as a ancient dwarven arrow made of bronze reforms in your hand and takes to the bowstring as you pull back and you fire, striking this creature in its neck. Go ahead and roll damage. So that's six, not including uh, Colossus Slayer. Yeah, it's already taking damage. Are you the so Slayer of the Colossus? That's eight. Very nice. Uh, second shot. I, I clicked it. It's going slow. Yeah, Sorry. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Get it? That 19. Hits. Wow. You pull Jeez. back again as another wow. arrow, an elven arrow, appears. Do, 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 do. Oh 11. Do. Viper arrow! Turn him into a pin cushion. <laughs> yeah, this thing gets two arrows right in its chest. <laughs> as I'm it's gonna... like moving its head from biting Borky, like slow motion, it's just like funk, funk, two shots. Oh, dude! <laughs> It's really funny because each time it each time something happens to it, it like reacts. But as it's reacting, something else happens, which then twists it into <laughs> another expression. <laughs> it's like filing paperwork in an inbox. One foot, you get one done, and then another one just plops in. Oh yeah, it's just no no rest. All right, All I right. got a uh, Tars to move closer to me, so my turn. <laughs> you seem tearing up a little bit. <laughs> Oh, don't oh. fight crocodile tears! Fuck off! No, Tarsk, <laughs> not the crocodile. Yeah, Tarsk is crying. Tarsk is like, crying. Would the crocodile oh, your boy. be crying? Mom, pick oh, me I up, I'm scared. All right. Oh, I thought, uh, you meant the fucking, I thought you meant the crocodile was doing that. No, Tarsk no. is mad. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, just have him stick behind me. I'll heal him when he's, when he's fine. Aww. I'll heal him when he's fine. over. All right, Remy, it's now your turn. Oh, no. All right, well, this guy's still doing his thing, so... Only thing I, I can do from back here, uh, hold out the hand and uh, let's do it again. That could need him and shatter on him again. Back left corner of the crocodile. So it's going to miss everybody but him. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, roll 20. Be kind to me. Here we go. 14. Ooh. That's good. That's pretty good. That unfortunately mm -hmm. passes with a 17, I believe, unless DC is. No, DC is 13. Okay. So yeah, 17. Oh, he'll take seven. Constitution. So he'll, he'll take, take seven. He'll take seven. Okay, nothing to sneeze at. Curses. Sorry, dude. They're very, they're very tanky. They may be morons, but they got something going. It's all good. Just trying to help them out. All right, that's turn. All right, Extra panic. Thing. It is now your turn. Have some more psychic damage. Okay. <laughs> oh my One god, psychic so damage to Mr. Crocodile. Three. Behold, fish damage. Ooh. <laughs> Behold, fish damage. <laughs> <laughs> fish. <laughs> Jokes on he you, takes, it's not sushi grade. <laughs> it's he takes three points of fish damage. Yeah. Um, and you watch as like a spike grows out of his side from the fish. Like, not actually, but you know, in his mind's eye, there's like a spike growing out of him, like almost like a bamboo sprout it's from a, the it's fish. A sword, it's, a, it's a swordfish this time. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh, and again, another fish in front of him. This one's just like even bigger. <laughs> oh, Maybe this time. Uh, this time will be different. I'll get him for sure. <laughs> that last bite of dirt wasn't so you know, good. I gotta Maybe the next one will be fishy better. about this fish. <laughs> uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to uh, pop a little healing word at second level on Ortarisk. Okay. Oh, it's your babu. He heals her six. Six, <laughs> he's only four, he's only out four. Right, so I got some help. Some action? Trip to him. You uh, still have your action? Yep. No, that was my action is to maintain concentration on Fantastic. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, fair enough. Like yeah, heat, you are like you are keeping this crocodile proper distracted right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sort of like, huh? Looks over at the other two crocodiles. Hmm. Bill, <laughs> Jay, <laughs> Mac, where'd you go? <laughs> Bill. <laughs> All right, say, say uh, God, that's my now turn. Say God, it's now your turn. Uh, Seika's okay. gonna bow back 
of course, lower uh, to Greckles. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then he's going to hold up a hand in front of him, open palm, and say, Taika! As his hand is going to ignite with bright flame. And I am going to use Radiant Sunbolt. Okay. Oh, I was fucking wrong. You were wrong. You were very wrong. <laughs> All right. Uh, this and makes perfect sense, though. Kamehameha, this guy from a distance. Did we add this to your towel? Oh. 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 oh! No! That's, oh. The, that's the Mark Allen Jr. I remember. Mm. But it's okay. Mm. I have a second attack. <laughs> <laughs> do you, though? I do. Okay, I and rolled a I five. Will not miss. <laughs> you just missed the second attack. You missed the first one. It goes a bit wide, which is very sad because it's in slow motion. I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Man, poor Seika sure doesn't look as good as they used to. <laughs> you literally, you literally pull back your palm and like thrust out the power, and you watch as the bolt literally goes like from your head directly to the left and like up. Like it doesn't even go forward. Well, just the We're crocodiles like late Mark, reaction. Mark, I'm gonna, it's quarter circle forward, face. not backwards. Shut up. I you, can't believe he was... you compose yourself and swing back your hand and you do a second one, which does absolutely hit. <laughs> you nine, nine, oh no! Fire damage. All right. Nine fire damage. That's really good. And I'm gonna spend a key point to do it two more times. Okay, thanks, Mike. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying so hard to look good, and it's not working. <laughs> it's not. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Never, you never, dirty last never, time. I think you look pretty good. It's never so make dumb. a cool character in D and D. They're always gonna fudge up. <laughs> it's so Trust me, working. I know. Wait, that one might hit. That one uh, might hit. The first one, the twelve, just hits because of the slow. Oh, thank Ooh. God! Yes. Yep. The second Ooh. one absolutely hits. Six points of damage, all right? That's and eight that. points of damage. All right, wow, you do a very, you guys watch as this poor crocodile <laughs> is like reeling from the arrows in its neck and then just out of nowhere, boom, 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 these three bolts blast it and it just like, like its front legs lift off of the ground by the force, but it's slowed down as it goes to fall and like, like gently lays into the water in like agony. It is still alive as it swings its face up and the eyes open, but it looks dazed and confused and there's just too much happening at once. The gentlest ripple as it hits the floor would otherwise yeah. would have been a tidal wave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just love the idea of seeing something like get hit with full force and just slowly descend into the I, I like water. I like the idea of this crocodile having the face from a uh, from uh, Princess and the Frog, where like yeah, the yeah, comes, yeah, 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 he, he comes out and he gets on the showboat and he starts playing the horn, and then stops and looks at everyone. That's his face. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's going to die. All right, Seika, is that yeah. end your turn? Um, yes. Okay. That brings us around to Borky. It is now your turn. Okay. Well, Borky's gonna keep trying to pull the creature to the left. Come on! Ah! 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 Borky's just yelling at him. Boxing him. <laughs> come on! Come on! Look at me! Look at me! John's kind of doing the... Kind of trying to, it kind of slowly trying to do. turns. You watch as one of the eyes just catches you. Oh. Uh, Bork, Borky's trying to do the goddamn... Uh, oh, goodness me. A crocodile Dundee finger thing. Ah! Come on! <laughs> come on! All right, perfect. And now I go for a baseball swing bat to its head. Sure, oh. yeah, you swing baseball swing. <laughs> perfect. That 13, 13 hits with the slow. Yeah, 13 hits with the slow. Thank goodness. 10 plus 3. How do you want to kill this thing? Hey! <laughs> I want to hit it. Then Borky hits it a second time, and it's... But Borky hits it under its jaw, so it falls back slowly. Oh, my God. All right, as you swing it, it fling it like flings backwards on its tail, and, like, blood just is spraying like a fountain. As the spell ends, because it's dead... And the whole thing just slams into the water, and water just splashes across everybody, uh, except for probably Remy. Uh, Seika, as the water hits you, you hear a. Borky turns to Seika, covered in blood. Hey! I got one! <laughs> Seika's just smiling. <laughs> that was only There's one hit, right? Such a That was only one on hit, yeah. Right he has just Borky's no like, eyes. Hur, hur. Ha! Ha! Bork's just like he's doing that. He's doing like that. That like that guy you, in deep oh, snow run. Shit. Oh my god! What did I just do? Wait, what? 
Wait, what happened? Huh? I got kicked out of the game. One second, hold on. Uh oh. Oh, oh no, now the game's unofficial, no! guys. DM's gone. Kill everybody. No, Inmates on the asylum. Let's go. Porky's just. Sorry. Like, huh. I'll Good. save you, Remy. Remember, uh. it's difficult. It's difficult terrain. I know. I cut it yeah. down to twenty. Well, you moved 20 already. You have 40 speed of movement. So oh my god, I did! I'm so yeah. sorry. Never mind. You can't move. Oh, Borky just looks to his right and sees that Remy's in trouble. Oh right, now, Remy! Another one! Borky just grabs his hand axe and just curls it. Gruel axe, go for it. 21! That hits! Right. 20 in. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 points of damage. Uh, you smack this alligator as it's eating, like, basically just nothing in front of it. And you, the axe like embeds probably a decent, I'm gonna say like three to four inches into the neck of this crocodile. And it lets out this horrible deep hissing noise as it turns and looks now and sees you, but it's still scared of you and it looks very scared. <laughs> Fish hurt oh, me so. It only lasts one I'm gonna turn say, and then it goes away. Oh, that's right. That's, it's still scared of you though. It's so much scary. bully. <laughs> Uh, the crocodile also now, after eating its fish, notices that two other crocodiles are now dead. <laughs> <laughs> so for the sake of brevity, it's gonna eat its final fish and it's gonna it's gonna book it. I'm not staying oh. around here, but I'm taking this fish with me. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Out of here. Oh. Uh, Greckles, do you want to chase it? Does anybody want to chase you guys? Okay, with I'm shooting it. this motherfucker. Mm. All right, well, we're going to continue in combat yeah, then. Going. No, I, I, I want my goodies, Monty. <laughs> fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. These are giant ally These are giant gators. He is just, dro 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 Dude. He's just drooling at the skin. Mm. Have, 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 right. have, have you ever had fried gator? It's amazing. It oh, it's fucking is. awesome. It Greckles. Is. Yes. Greckles, it is now your turn. All right. God, I love mobile. Um... Yeah, I could do it no problem. Uh, so, so, Seiko, you see, you see Greckles dashing over the croc, jumping over you, and just dash, 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 getting down to, whoop, getting Excellent. down to the other side of Remy. And again, oh, hi. that, oh hi, um, and I, and again that that radiant sword just slashing around. <laughs> That's a that hits, uh, nine. and you get sneak attack. Yep. Hell yeah! So ooh, six. That's all right. This thing needs some damage. Uh, twenty-six. So. Oh 32. my god! Wow. Uh, Thirty-two. Wow, that hurt it a lot. That was such a good sneak attack roll. Jesus. You rolled one, yeah. four, two sixes, and two fives. Two fives. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do much unless you got all sixes or all like another five. Man, you, oh, man. you can't you, do much more than that. You jump and you just you just run down the back of this crocodile and just drag your sword a good two inches all the way from the back of the shoulder blades down to the tip of the tail and swing around. It is looking in a lot of pain right now. Uh, with my last uh, ten feet of movement, I will get outside that threat space to all the right. south. And that's turn. That brings us to the crocodile's turn. There's another crocodile, isn't there? <laughs> hey! <laughs> They're um, behind you, Greggle! <laughs> can it attack or does it have it has to go for your illusion each time, right, Panic? It can make an investigation check to determine if it's an illusion or not. It's not gonna do that now. Yeah, because it's got bigger priorities. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, it's pissed. Yeah. It's going for you. Yeah. Remy, you get an attack of opportunity as this thing charges, like full on have sprint a... charges. And I have advantage on this. Woo! Why do you have advantage uh, on it? Uh, blade mastery. When you make an opportunity attack with the weapon, you have advantage oh, on the attack. Oh, right. so that's a 26. Ah. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Seven. Okay. Blade mastery is so good. It is still alive. Oh. Unfortunately, um, you stab it in its tail as that you're like, you see it charging towards Greckles. Okay. Uh, Come Greckles. get it. Oh, hell no. Uh, the first attack is a 26 to hit with a bite yep. attack. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, that is where's my. Ah! Uh, that is going to be 15 points of piercing damage. Uh,. I'm going to use my. Oh, uh, sorry, that's 20 points of piercing damage. I forgot his bonus. I was about to say, yeah, uh, I'm going to use my uh, dodging ability to just essentially use the sword to kind of semi deflect the bite to take half damage. 
Okay, and you are now grappled. Okay. I am an idiot and haven't been reading the full attack, and oh. apparently if they bite you, you're grappled, but... Oh, well, now you know. That's my fault. That is my fault. I'm tired, and I have... No, I you're fine. You're fine. You're I fine. think I was the only other Dude, person whatever. who got hit with a bite, and we kind of storied it that I was... Yeah, you got out. Quick. You, you were, were ninjing quick. your way out. Yeah, you were yeah. monkeying your way out of it. So it's fine. Whatever. You're good. Shit. You're good. Yeah, um, it won't even matter. But yes, you are now considered grappled. It doesn't do anything besides you just can't move. Your movement right. is considered as zero. Uh, and it is going to make a tail attack against you as well. Man, that's a it's limber that's a limber boy. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh that is going to be a twenty-two. Mm-hmm. That's going to be 18 points of bludgeoning damage to oh, you. Oof. All right. Yeah, the tail attacks could have also knocked people prone. I'm sorry, I just had bullet notes here. I didn't have the full... Dude, it's fine. Which I, should have had. I know. Anyway, uh, you are now grappled, and you are bleeding. You're bleeding out the beak a little bit. Mm. Gritting through that, it. Getting through that it. That ends the crocodile's turn. Task, it is now your turn. Taking priority on this motherfucker. Taking a shot. All right. Shoot him. 15. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, that hits. You pull back and you you see a arrow. Um, very lizard folk in nature. Oh. Bright Viper colorful, arrow. Vite colorful parrot feathers. Uh, the tip of which looks like a scorpion, like a forest scorpion stinger. And you let loose. How do you want to kill it? Yeah, boy. All right. It has uh, it has two health. There's no way. Yeah. Well, that yeah. and also Colossus Slayer. Mm hmm. So, uh, when this thing like begins to do the death roll, Task fucking takes the shot. The arrow flies through one what, through his eye and out the other, and he falls over, slumped dead. And Greckles, you slide out of its mouth as <sighs> the air around you becomes still. So I'm going to sprint to Greckles after he just got eaten again. Hey, hey technically it wasn't all the way down this time. I did better. <laughs> God. <laughs> I, I check on Taurus. It must got, have like, known what it was out. eating. Christ. Like a toddler who's fallen over and scraped a knee. Taurus is just like, like, like being really pathetic, honestly. Oh, He's, oh I, I, I fucking hug him. I, I, I pick him up and hug him and I just pat him. I still have one of these old ones, an old school Willow special. That was 2d4 plus 5, right? That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's 2d4 plus 5. Okay, so I'm going to use the yeah. old school Willow special on Greckles. Okay. Oh, oh. go ahead and roll 2d4 plus 5, Grex. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Much obliged. Uh, Slow down. There we go. Hey! As he's tending to you, uh, Seika will approach you, mm -hmm. uh, drop down into full Seiza. Mm -hmm. And bow his head, his forehead almost touching the surface of <laughs> as, the swamp. As Seika does this, the water just like sizzles around it. It's kind of like <laughs> bubbling a bit. <laughs> uh, 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 he, he, he says, Mosi waka arahen. I apologize profusely. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, it's it's fine. Mo tate tate kudasai. Get up, get up, come on. This is this is how we fight. Yeah, it happens all the time. More often than you would think, and uh, usually in worse circumstances. As, as yeah, Taurus yeah, and yeah. Task are, like, fucking, like, swimming through the body of this thing, pulling out pieces. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, so I will check, then, if you want to get pieces out. Yes, I do. way too much joy in this, I swear. Crocodile armor. He just pops you know, out of its just... chest. <laughs> getting some fucking boots. Hey, man, I'm getting full plate somehow. Get that crocodile armor. Oh, wait, that's a 14. No, because of the... My... Mm. Actually, you know what? No, that's right. Ten. It's a ten. Uh, you get every single tooth. So you get 30 giant crocodile teeth. That's cool. Ten. On to the next one. Uh, <laughs> and the skin is this one. The skin is not good. It's sizzling bacon like and has this one's been <laughs> torn. Good. Um, to who? That sounds delicious. Uh, the second one. Go ahead and roll a survival check. I'm going to let Tarisk eat his kill. He did a good job today. Oh, nine. beans and nine. These are hard to carve up because they're so big and thick and really, really like difficult and challenging to to deal with. Uh, for this one, again, the teeth are very easy to collect. Uh, this time, you get twenty teeth out of this one. Fuck uh, yeah! 
And I'm going to say uh, you get six. I'll just do it all in total. Roll one more time, and I'll just tell you what you get. In total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say. Here. Let's just yeah. do a total. Okay. Please, please, good roll. Please, good roll. Please, good roll. 15, much better. Cool. So out of the three of them, you get 45 giant crocodile teeth. Yes. You get uh, seven claws. Hold on, hold, on, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. 47 cr giant croc teeth. Mm-hmm. Okay, next. Seven, like, nails, like claws. Seven giant croc claws. Uh, you managed to... You can't get the thickest leather part, but uh, you managed to get, I'm going to say... I'm going to say 20 pounds of giant crocodile skin. Ooh. This is a new outfit. Mark my words. 20 pounds of skin? This is a yeah. new pound. This is a new fucking outfit, mark it's my words. It's thick. It is thick. That's why it's so heavy. It doesn't mean there's, like, a lot of it in terms of, like, width and, and height. Like, it's not like a big, giant blanket. It is just very thick and blubbery and heavy. Oh, my God. Um, Please, crocodile full plate. Let's go. <laughs> um, And you get some organs. You get two giant crocodile livers. One giant crocodile heart. Sick! Uh, and this doesn't take much finesse. Uh, you hack off the tails for food. They're edible. Oh my god, dude. And you know what that means? Because of the fact that it's foraging for this, it's double for us because I'm a ranger. Yeah. You we get, you eat get good whole, tonight. You get the whole tail. So Ooh. you get you get three Ooh, giant... Or crocodile gem. They literally... <laughs> they are literally... The tails are so big, they're about the size of, like, a what you would put on, like, a pig on rotisserie. It's, like, that big. Like, you could rotisserie this thing, and it could feed all of you easily. Oh, fucking Task is having a fucking whale of a time right now. Hell yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. We're just taking all these knives, this flourish of knives, and just skin. <laughs> so, as you guys make camp for the night, after this, in this wonderful, wonderful time, and you enjoy a rotisserie crocodile tail with whatever seasonings you pack with yourself, we're going to take a break here. Okay. Ready to go. Right. So do you want to you tell the audience real quick, Mark, what you are? Uh, yeah, so I am a Way of the Sun Soul monk. Yeah. Nice. So I know that there were a couple of people who guessed that last week amidst a sea of people guessing. So to those of you who guessed that, here are your 10 Jeopardy points. Nice. Woohoo! Would you like to buy a vowel? <laughs> no, I'm not leaving until I get my 10 quat loose. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> God. So, yeah, the secret is out. The secret does, is out there. Does Sika is gay? <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. I'm going to go with yes. I'm gonna go, I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom. Same. Why? Oh, all right. I'll just... Hi guys, welcome to the Edward Bosco halftime show. I guess. Well. Yep, I I'll just that's. Today. I will grab I'm a food all dinner. alone. There's no one here beside me. My problems have all gone. There's no one to derive me. But you gotta have friends, which I don't. I really don't. That's all right. I'll keep you guys company. Hi. Oh, you're here for me, Alpha. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, uh, on this episode of the Bosco Halftime Report, we've got some big news for those of you that may have missed the beginning of the session. So, Halloween is coming up in October. And you know what October means, right? It means Orktober. It means Connor's bringing back the crazy orcs. However, this time there's a twist. If you guys thought that PUBG orcs was nuts, wait until you see what happens when we get a fifth orc in Orktober. That's right. The one, the only, Monty Glue is taking a month off from DMing, but she's going to play. She's going to be an orc. It's going to be great. It's going to be beautiful. I can hardly wait. Arukana, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Such a good session. I missed watching you guys. Thank you so much. So, Ed, is it confirmed Halloween will be here this year? Hall I mean, Halloween is every year, pretty much. Thank you, Blackfoot Ferret, for the elite bit saying so much. Wah! So yeah, Orktober is happening, but for those of you who also missed the beginning of the show, we also mentioned that unlike in previous years, we've started a new stream on Saturday nights at 7 o'clock PST. It's called The Prince Division. You can come watch Connor and I be like private eyes because we're watching you. If you've seen the show before, we welcome you to come back and watch it again. If you haven't seen the show, you should check it out. It's a very different feel from this, but Monty needs a break from that too because it's October. So... 
we needed another game. And I was like, you know, it's Halloween in October. With two full moons in October. That doesn't happen very often. And on top of that, for the first time since 1944, the full moon will be on Halloween night. It's going to be crazy. So, that all being said, I'm really happy to announce, now that I have all the players officially set and locked in, we are going to be doing Ravenloft for the month of October. And we're going to start a week early. So, September 26th, which is a week from Saturday, we will be doing Ravenloft. If you've never seen a Ravenloft campaign... It is brutal, it is dark, it is horror, and I'm going to try to do it justice, but it is extremely different than anything else you have ever seen on this channel. Probably the closest thing to it is maybe Shadow War, but it's def no, it's a different vibe than Shadow War, but if you're looking for like dark and serious, it's kind of in there. The comedy will be sprinkled throughout very delicately. But yeah, so we're going to be doing Ravenloft and Orktober, so it's going to be great. Ravenloft will start Saturday night, 7 o'clock PST, September 26th. It's going to replace the Prince Division, and then the Unexpectables for the month of October, or I should say Orktober, will be Connor running 40K Orcs in Rogue hey, Trader. Hey, it's going to be great. Real quick while I'm getting my tea, yeah. I have a question. Are you yes. okay with us saying what our character is going to be? Um, I'd or say wait. We... Why ruin the surprise? Fair enough, fair enough. I just wanted to yeah. know personally. Yeah, I would say wait. So the players for Ravenloft, as you can tell, Zito's going to be in it. Yeah, yeah. Connor's going to be in it. Monty's going to be in it. Mark Allen Jr., who I have played Ravenloft with before, is going to be in it. For and we're going to have a fifth long. player. Yeah, years ago, it feels like. No, I mean, we're going to have a fifth player. I how long I'll actually be in it. I might die in three minutes. And here's you know? the crazy thing. We're going to have a fifth player who's never been on this channel before, who's never been a guest star before that I'm aware of. We're going to have the one and only Therapod as our fifth player. And if you know anything about Therapod, he is not built for Ravenloft, which is perfect. <laughs> It's We're beautiful. gonna wreck him. He sent me his character idea, and I went, I can't believe that this is actually your character. It's incredible. I'm so excited. Everybody's created really interesting characters. There's I, I basically I told them that they could do anything. I told them you can do homebrew, you can do core books, you can do books that have been released, you can do stuff that you make up on the fly. I just had a conversation with Mark where we homebrewed some stuff Unless, on the fly about how to make stuff work. As, like as as yeah. long as it's balanced. That's as long as it's thing. balanced. Obviously, it can't be like, man, I can't believe I have the wish spell at level three. <laughs> no. Hi no, guys, that's not I'm gonna back. happen. Um, have the bits been called out? Uh, the bits have not been called. I called out a couple at the beginning, but I was I, announcing uh, let me, what Let, let me grab doing. a couple here real quick and we'll just jump in there. Uh, Cesaro94 with a thousand bits. Just want to say thanks for sharing the game with us during these crazy times. And unfortunately, I can't donate more, but take this for now and continue being you. With a thousand bits? Well, Cesaro94, never beat yourself down for saying I can only give this much. Any amount is very, very kind of you. And ma make sure never to put yourself out in support. And yeah. All right, aside from that, guys, I would like to thank uh, Kane Time, Meisterwurst, Arukana, these names, Jai Kaisen gifting a sub all the way over to Maxa 2 million, Dalaran Quest, Viridian Winter gifting a sub to, as well, I believe that is, yes, uh, to Kale to third, and like a Stark Fang, thank you for the five month resub. I would also like to thank Kane Time for the 500 bits, something witty and clever. Mm. Wonderful. Lord Phantasma with 2,500 bits. Monty and Orc. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh no. yeah. <laughs> Gregor, what are you? Gregor. The fuck are you? I'm what? so excited. I'm so uh, excited. Also, also <laughs> uh, to answer somebody's question who I saw in the chat, everybody in the Ravenloft campaign has at least one backup character. Some of them have two. So they're good. Mm -hmm. They're good and prepared. Uh, they are ready yeah. to die if need be. Verdi and Wendy with 2,000 bits. So when does Greckles meet Bryant and Kel? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, indeed. Sloth, oh, oh three zero with 400 bits. Thank you so much. Golden Giddle. Gordon Gil Golden Gilden, thank you so much as well for the six-month resub. Wells, two, three, four. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Greatly appreciate that. Blackfoot Ferris, so much. Whoa. Well, thank you so much. Scoop of Steve, Jade, for State. Big Lebowski. Lion Spider, Clustered Bun, Pyro. Thank you so much for the uh, bits as well. All righty, Monty, you want to take us away? I don't think everybody's back, are they? No, I'm still eating. Keep going. Yeah. Oh. So, no, I'm still uh, um, I, well, I, I wanted to answer another question real quick because I keep seeing people ask me. So it is kind of Curse of Strahd. So here's the problem. Monty's played Curse of Strahd. So she knows 
some of it. She's probably also read the entire book. So what I'm doing is I'm basically taking the lore from all of the I Raven Law. I have read the entire book. I actually have avoided oh. it in case I go back and play it at some point. Heck yeah. All right. Well, even better. Well, I'm pulling stuff from the books, from the novels, from old school Ravenloft. Actually, 5e Curse of Strahd actually does a really good job of condensing it all. So I've been able to get a lot of really good stuff. But it's not going to follow the Curse of Strahd book. Because if somebody runs that or if you guys have played that already or if you've read the book, I don't want that to spoil the experience for you guys. So it'll be something kind of original based on that stuff. Good, if because that makes any sense. this will actually be fun for me, considering that I actually have never touched Ravenloft before. Mm. Oh, I'm excited for you to play Ravenloft. And Ravenloft is excited, excited to touch to you. Whoa, oh. hey. I mean, not wrong, but whoa. Whoa, bro. Naya, Dude, Naya, C, Naya C. Flecker I, gifting two subs to Zymocyte and Kaizen Chaos. Thank you so much. And Whitefang9018, they give it 100 bits as well. Thank you so much, Denaya. Can uh, can I can I can I mention one thing really quick? Just real quick. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Do the do the bit. Do the bit. Do the bit. Do the the. Arbiter Valu with 500 bits. Howdy, I am Theropod's DM IRL. My only hope for him Ooh. in your Ravenloft game is that you bring him to the brink of despair. Good luck. <laughs> I will break him and I will torture his soul because there are fates much worse than Dude, that. Dude, Zito, Zito, seriously, like Ravenloft is every fight you 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 pick a god and you pray. Like that is every fight. <laughs> no, like I said, I've played. It's like, all oh man, there's only 20 zombies here. Oh, there's 20 more. Oh god. Well, it's like it's like a normal D and D. You're like combat. You're like yay and Ravenloft's like combat you're like god please no oh, like, that's what it is a regular question mm. at my Ravenloft tables has been is there any way to role play out of this combat so <laughs> you're trying to avoid it you're like man I don't want to take another step in this castle because if I trigger something we're gonna die yeah no, you're... You're literally at the end of every fucking encounter you have is remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. no I remember <laughs> when I stopped playing Ravenloft originally we I there was a point in our fight where I had two unconscious people rolling death saving throws on either shoulder while we were fighting five vampire spawn at like oh, level three oh, like that's what you it were, is. They gave you vampire spawn at level three? We were fighting vampire spawn at, like, I was definitely not level five. I'll tell you that. I think it was level four. I can't remember. I have the sheets, how, but... You said how many? I think it was, like, five of them. Like, it was, like, it was definitely more than one. It was a lot. It was a lot of them. That's, like, isn't that, like, a CR three? They're, in, they're like, a CR three or four, I think, yeah. Oh, no, they're CR five. I just double-checked. That is not balanced. It was that's that's what was there. We went that's there. Ravenloft. Oh, we went you guys far. skipped the that thing area. About, the thing about Ravenloft is you'll go, especially in the premium adventure guide, is like it. You're at the mercy of where you go. So if you go to an area and something there is like CR10, guess what? You're fighting something. You're that's fighting CR10. a CR10. Yeah, that's that's the way it goes. Like I remember, I met someone at a convention at the Kelowna Fan. What was it called? What was that convention we went to, Kurt? Kelowna Fan Con. Kelowna Fan Con. We went to Kelowna Fan Con and. Uh, the gentleman who hosted that, who invited us as his guests, who were very, very nice, uh, we were talking about Ravenloft, and one of them told me, he's like, I'm going to warn you about one thing. He says, somewhere in the woods where you're at right now is a hag, like a like eighth level hag, who can kill you instantly. Don't go in the woods. And I'm like, that's so ominous and scary. Why do you have to tell me that? <laughs> <laughs> No, but see, that's the best part is where you like, where people know like, oh, I know this thing can fuck me up, but I yeah. don't know where it is. Yeah, so that's the, that's the, the oh, but man. there's there's a part of that where you have to be comrade, like you have to be comrade. So like me and the warlock were like best friends because like I was a big front loading tank and he was a very squishy caster, and so like we became the best of friends in the game because like I would protect him and he would usually not do very well in fights, but he was very good outside of fights because my character was an idiot and his character was very smart. So Ravenloft is fun. If you're into a really, really intense, like, you like, ch like, if you're the type of person who really, really likes Dark Souls and how it kicks your ass, like, if you like games that kick your ass, then go for it. Just don't fall in love with your character. That's all I'm going to advise. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I, there's, there's a small part of me that's like, man, I wonder what happens if I'm not able to kill them. Because I also don't want to break the game and be like, you're dead. No, you don't, but you like, don't want it's... You don't want to try to kill people either. It's just the nature of the environment that, that exactly. is the threat. Yeah. And it's it's more like, you know, if you if the players choose to go to a dangerous location, you know, that's that's where they go. And that's what they have to deal with for the most part. So anyway, yeah. you guys good to keep going? Yeah, yeah totally. Okay. So. I got D. You guys take the night and make camp, keeping your watches. 
Um, interestingly enough, as you guys keep watch, there's a lot of fireflies kind of buzzing around and other night creatures. The insects here are relentless. It's a bit rough. Um, luckily, Seika, as you're sleeping, like, as the mosquitoes fly towards you, they just, <laughs> just fizzle. They, don't, <laughs> they just die instantly. Um, but you guys take your watches, sleep for the night, and awake the next morning. Uh, okay. and your lizard hound licks his wounds and gets better. Uh, Aha Avahi is, is healed by the, by the morning. You guys take your rest and... Um, cool, because I was about to say, like, if that wasn't the case, I would have gave him a healing potion. Yeah, no. Mm. No, he's, uh, he's Forky, good. Uh, and, uh, does Taurus get his lightning breath back? Uh, he burp. does for the day, yeah. yeah. His lightning burp. Uh, anyone who would notice such things would notice that the colors in Seika's skin and hair are a little dimmer than they were previously there's less of the almost white uh, blue in his hair so it's more of the darker colors and same thing in his uh his flesh it's more of the the darker muted oranges than any of the yellows grekel shall incite this lad your mood uh, ring is showing are you sad are you allowing this insight check i'm uh, allowing real... the insight check, okay for, i am for... going to uh deception it okay Fuck! Oh, Greckles, Greckles will saunter over. No, for real. He 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 just kind of gets in front you, of you. Sorry, time out, Kurt. Is there something wrong, like like recording wise, or? Oh no, not at all. Okay, I'm sorry. okay. I was, I, was just, I was just trying to say okay. something. I was. Yeah, I, was, right. I wasn't sure, so I just wanted to make sure that we weren't. So no, I didn't, yeah, continue. I, 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 okay, continue, Greckles. Yeah. Okay, sorry. No, I just, just want to make sure. I'll jump, I'll jump in. He just kind of tilts his head over at you, and he's just he's just like. Those don't know what's what's wrong. Uh, he he looks at you, and you can tell that he's struggling for a moment before he finally responds and says, "I am conflicted, Denka." In what way? In several. To start, yesterday's display gave me hope. The Legends tell that you'd be able to rescue the elemental planes, and up until yesterday, I must admit to having doubts. However, you and your companions, you fight very well and efficiently. But comparatively, I am afraid that I am not living up to my mission. I was unable to protect you, and what's more, I feel I may have embarrassed myself. Greckles just cuts in, just with, just with like a, Lucy! Don't, don't even mention such things. We all pull our weight here, and you did superb. Yokdekta, you did superb. I don't know half of what he's saying, but I will say this. Warfare is not an exact science. Everyone fucks up sometimes. He was do that. This is why he bought his house. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Bunch of birds scatter. But it's okay. Remy and Greckles come back. <laughs> Seiko, you have to. Seiko, you have to understand. We accomplish great things because we work off of each other, off of each other's strengths and back each other up against our weaknesses. I could not have done what I did without you and Borky and Remy. Task everyone. We all played a part. Even even Taurus played a part. That's what's important. It's about it's about all of us working together, like a like a well oiled machine. I admit to not having much experience in that regard, but I thank you. I promise you, I will continue to do my best. I only hope it does not slow you down. No. Not, not a bit. He, he, he just kind of scoffs and smiles. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. I, I still have so many questions, but I want this to be a learning experience for both of us. It's a good bounty for me. I'm gonna walk away as a bandit and with some new clothing today. Yeah, test that 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 gator the other night. Oh, <laughs> superb. Yeah. I Oh, no, I gotta say, it's pretty impressive that you have yourself what I can only describe is 
about 20 pig's heads of of cro of, of alligator crocodile skins. Yeah, um, sorry, Panic. I'm not fashioning this one for you this time. This one's all mine. Yeah. Sicky. Oh, sorry. Uh, go for it. Okay, sorry. Uh, Greckles turns back to you, Seika, and he, he actually just looks at you with, with slightly sly eyes. Actually, I want to learn how you were able to fight like that. I mean, that was insane martial arts, but also those those blasts that you were able to create, that's, that's a new one. It is not often used, but in a... Oh, God, English failing me. In a moment of... Fuck it. I, my brain just exploded. Go for it. I'm so Go for it. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, my God. <laughs> I just completely just forgot English. Sorry. His hair turns purple, and oh, then it comes back to blue. Seven years ago. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, okay. <laughs> in moments when I find myself unable to engage with the enemy, it has come in handy. Well, if... if... <laughs> If you've got more tricks up your sleeves, then I'm I'm already more than impressed. I hope you do not overestimate my abilities, Denka. As stated, I will do my best. In the scenario, if you over if you overstate your abilities, you just die. And and Gre Gre kind of kind of rolling his eyes at that, he looks back at you with very sincere eyes. And don't underestimate your own abilities. Uh, he will simply bow his head. It's not a full bow, but definitely one of deference. Gotcha. He'll 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 do a, a slight bow back. Okay. You guys remount your beasts. Um, Borky, you take you guys... front this time. Borky, well, take front. What? Right. I want you to take front this time. Oh man, it's gonna limit my book reading on this trip. But okay. <laughs> Why um... did you bring that? Okay, oh, I, I, so I'll have you know, I've gotten through six out of a hundred pages so far. I'll, I'll give you the audiobook version. I'll read it to all of us. Oh, what? <laughs> no, no, um, no, 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 no. I, I, I learned by... So, I can fill in the gaps between, but who's in the front and who's in the back? Borky's in the front. Okay, I'm, behind the front? The, I'm behind Borky. Okay. There's Miss Mugum mm -hmm. in my world that's about to get his world rocked. I guess Remy in the back then? Bosco? Bosco? I am good with this. Okay. Uh, the, right. So it'll be Bosco in the back, Sadie in the jet? I don't know what that means. All right, anyway. <laughs> I'm um, fucking in the middle with you. <laughs> oh, I... Uh, okay. Uh, boo. All right, so you guys mount up, uh, collect your things, and make your way. The swamp gets thicker and thicker and muddier and uncomfortable. Uh, the lizard hounds struggle... Um, at a certain point where the water is breaching over their necks. Oh, um, Jesus. oh, Jesus. The swamp is almost turning into more of a pond than land. Does Kinushi sink? He does, yes. Oh, um, but he moves <laughs> anyway because it doesn't bother him. Okay. Wait, don't our <laughs> lizard hounds have swim speeds? They do not. They have climb Oh, they speeds. don't. Yeah. Uh, would it be detrimental to have them go continue with us at this point? Uh, it is slowing your pace. They are able to do it, but they're just getting kind of tired having to swim at certain parts, especially with carrying people at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and it is definitely obvious. You guys are, unless stated otherwise, you guys are not moving stealthily. Um, so that is definitely the challenge right now, is that when the lizard hounds are swimming, it's like a dog, like a like a, like a a beagle swimming in the water, just splashing everywhere and All right, well, making a I'm lot gonna, of motion. I'm going to propose this. Do we... Do we probably want to find a safe space to hitch these guys? I would second that. Hmm. All righty. All right. Let's find a safe locale. Scan okay. of the area. Easy enough. You guys find uh, like a um, like a witch's hair, kind of wisteria tree that's kind of bigger-ish. It's not like. Um, it's not like a giant oak tree or anything like that, but it is the biggest tree that you've been able to find in this area that could cover them up and at least hide them from the elements if necessary. All right. Would it be wise to leave Tarisk here with them at this point? Probably not, because he could wander. All righty, then. He's coming with us. 
Okay. You guys set out leaving the lizard and hounds and uh you're you're uh not so not sure if it's a gorgon or what, but they're your your metal bowl that has <laughs> no emotions. It's very it's off the fucking fitting. statue from New York City. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. I relate um, so much to this what's... creature. Hi, Rin, hi! <laughs> Never you mind, Kinushi. I also have difficulty displaying emotion. All right. Um, as you guys continue forward in your south direction, the water becomes deeper and deeper, eventually reaching your necks. Um, at this point, it makes travel almost impossible. But I believe you still have a folding boat, don't you? I was about you? to say, don't we have a portable mm -hmm. boat? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I reach into my hole, and I pull out... <laughs> The portable boat. <laughs> I'm sorry. You swing at that one Welcome again, the Devil Boy. Do you want it? <laughs> to me. Do you want to? Do you want to detail and explain how you pulled a boat out of your whole panic? So uh, yeah, I I pull, oh I pull, phrasing Monty. I pull a a black Seven. dot out of my jacket pocket it's and I cloth. slap it on it's the ground. I, oh yeah, I I pull the cloth out of my uh jacket. I, I slap it somewhere dry, like a tree or something. Yeah, you find like a tree uh, stump that's like got I, enough. I'll, I'll roll up the sleeves of my jacket and I'll just reach in elbow deep. Let's see here. Um, oh. No. Ooh. That's where you put all the crocodile stuff too as well. It's all there. Yep. Ooh, I'm getting, I'm getting pricked here. Uh, there it is. And I pull out this uh, piece, this plank of wood. And I, I, uh, I will then go over to the the body of water that we're uh, tra traversing. I'll huck it up into the air and I'll shout, "Barca!" Uh, it's command word to turn it into a boat. All right, you watch as it whoosh, turns into a reasonably sized little sailboat. Uh, you guys had it actually still has some of the red on the hull from the uh, your little excursion into the underdark, <laughs> um, but it's there with its sail and everything at the ready. And I'm assuming Bork, you're like holding it in place so it doesn't float away on you as you guys. Yep. Get aboard. Insert uh, 45 aboard. degree angle head tilt, no eyes smiled Seika here. <laughs> He's confused AF, but he climbs aboard anyway. I have okay. vehicles. Does this work right. for this? Uh, you don't have water vehicles, but land vehicles. They're, okay. they're different. Yeah. I if you had the sailor background, you would. Anyway, sorry. It's, sorry. A, it's a folding fire. It's a folding boat, by the way. Yeah. Sorry, what was that, Borky? Uh, his full, what is his full name? It is... I'm trying to make sure I'm saying it properly. Hmm. Seika Kurayami? Kurayami, sorry. Yeah. Seika? Oh. Seika. It's Seika? It's Seika Kurayami. All right. Hey, Seika, come here. On the back of the boat. How I know that was a little, that was a little bit weird. I know, but just so you know, inside Panic's hole, it's much bigger. <laughs> Why? Or he taps his head. Oh. Like, more that you know. It's oh. true. It goes pretty God. deep. I can't. I can't fit something like a Goliath in there, though. <clears throat> I tried that once. Oh, I can't. I well. can't anymore. You're not even oh. trying anymore. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Subtlety? What's that? I don't oh, know. I think right. is to you something. They left the it with the towers. lizard hounds. Uh, I will yeah, put the portable right? hole back in my pocket. Right. Also, why, would nice, you, why would you lie about, about, about Zeus like that? I have proof. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> you guys. Have, I'm sorry, you have proof? What the f- Yes. <laughs> I have no. the memory. Okay. I can still Your hear it. It's seared in there. Yeah, didn't you have a conversation with Zeus? Every time yeah. I... Remy? Every... Not you, I'm talking about Remy. Uh, yes, I did oh. have a conversation with Zeus at the Romantion. <laughs> yeah, Not you, you fucking... <laughs> I know what you did while I, I was being tortured as a prisoner of war. <laughs> they know what putting... I had with Zeus. I'm piling oh, out my spy glass, please. All right, who's manning the boat? This is the, the main question. Okay, does this boat have a sail? Yeah, it's a sailboat. Okay, it requires like a like a check, right? It does, yes. Oh a well, because I know check? I know what to do above game, but in game it depends on how much Remy knows about naval. It requires a water vehicle check, which none of you are proficient in. So someone has to do a essentially a wisdom check to to man the boat. 
Yeah, my uh, wisdom's. Ugh. I'll, I have a I, wisdom I, too. I yeah, Remy could do it as well. What about Seika? I mean, in game, narratively, it wouldn't make any no sense because they've never seen a boat. A pilot a boat. Yeah, they, it but, wouldn't make any sense. Wow. I, did, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know if there would be. I didn't know if there were any such things as like lava ships or or whatnot. So if uh, Monty will allow, I can. The, the folding boat you guys have is not that big. I know what you're mm. looking at, Connor. Uh, this one's the smaller version of that. It's it not, is. So it, man. <laughs> so Monty, yeah. if, if we want to use Seika's wisdom, Remy can walk Seika through how to do this because he's probably seen it more than done it. You know what? Sure. That'll be a straight roll. Cool. Okay. Because if not, you would have disadvantage because you've never been on a fucking boat before. Nope. I... All right, here comes I'll... the wisdom. So all of you hey. will see Remy giving naval instructions you never knew he had. It's a save or just wisdom? It is just a wisdom check. So you just, okay. you just click the wisdom button. Well, wow. wow. Nice. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That's a wise Smooth point. sailing. You guys have Seika with the guidance of Remy kind of directing um and yeah you guys set off into the swamp you guys are now beset into a sort of river lake combo um where the trees are actually very thick here it's weird it goes from kind of this weird shrubland to then somewhat of a fallen over rotting forest you guys sail the boat underneath these giant root systems that just kind of run over and under the river banks there's a lot of dead leaves and foliage as these giant massive, a variety of these giant massive oak like trees kind of crown over the horizon. Uh, task, I would like you to roll a perception check with advantage with your spyglass. Hell yeah. Ooh, nice. Five. Hmm. Uh, I would like everybody else to roll perception checks. These are sound base. Okay. I'm kind of. Soft good. 20. 16. Okay. I'm deaf. Um, so you're writing you're running the boat right now you're not listening <laughs> i have a i have a very important question for you before i roll my stuff monty very well with all of our with all of us combined including the boat how much would you say that weighs uh i would say a decent amount especially with the boat because it is wood it is a wooden boat over and borky, a thousand pounds with borky yes you are not levitating the boat into the air, Mary Poppins style. I know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're flying boat. Oh, I don't know. Hey, Monty, Monty, don't make me do this. I would cast haste on the boat, and we're going to do some sick ops. <laughs> okay, between, uh, I'd like that no for the offense, next combat. But between, we... between Borky, a fat baby dragon, and everybody else, and all of their gear, you guys Excuse are me. way I don't uh, Listen, you don't fucking talk to my son this way. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's got baby one. fat. Yeah, natural one. You're too busy mm. thinking about how you can make the boat no, I'm, fly. And I'm, I'm, singing, <laughs> I'm, I'm singing sea shanties. Fucking... <laughs> Thinking about Zeus. But to see the name of ship was Billy of Um. Okay. So with these perception checks, uh, Remy, Greckles, and Borky, you guys are hearing like you hear frogs, you hear you know like other bugs and and whatnot making noises, but you guys are picking out. There's some really really low like. Kind of like uh, echoing which across. Which you direction? Can't, with the nature of the swamp land, you have no idea. But task with your perception check, you do notice uh, a figure um, under the water, kind of dip down. Um, and with your spyglass, you're able to see a bullywug, which is a frog person, riding on the back of a giant frog that dips underneath the water near your boat. I, I kind of like mutter to everyone else, we got movement. Where? I point in the direction. Bullywog, riding on some other kind of beast that just sank into the water. Seika, off the port bow. Which bow is that? Remy's gonna point. <laughs> oh, look at that direction. <laughs> hey, those experiences, man. Do we have cans on this thing? No. Darn. Man, what I can't I believe we became the Sea of Dweebs. Mm. You're our captain. The oh, boat explodes true. and you all die. And it's like. Mass Effect death theme. Do, 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 ne do, next week, Zenrio's back. Sea, sea, sea of Dweebs, episode title. Nailed it. All right. All right. Continuing on. What are you guys doing? You guys 
sailboat continues forward quietly. Uh, yes, as long um, as this thing doesn't like stop in front of us and like hit the bottom of the boat. Yeah, ready, ready in action. If there's anything that pops out of the water to attack, I'm, right. I'm fucking keeping Tarsk away from the side of the boat, and I'm putting him. Seca, to the be prepared to come to an all stop on my mark. Mark belongs to you. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't okay. respond. He's just alert. Stand at the ready. As suddenly bursting out from either side of the boat come two giant frogs. They are large creatures. And I need... Uh, it's going to be Remy, because you're closest to the edge. And it's going to be Task because you're protecting Taurus. Those two. Yeah. You're going to get yep. attacked by these giant toads. Oh, do they okay. do they just do they just look like toads like regular toads? They're frog toads. It's the same thing. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I just I look. Look. I'm Battle looking, toads. I'm looking for things like multiple limbs, extra eyes, big legs. They know. do not look anything like the thing that ate you. That's, okay. That's good. Pleasant. That's that's pleasant. Uh, I can just okay. see Halum just like screaming in agony when Body said that. I know. I know. I know they're different. I just. <laughs> They are statted as giant toads, but they're frogs. It's fine. They eat the same. Um, speaking of eating the same, uh, Remy, I think that is definitely going to hit you. That is a 23 to hit you. Uh, not if I use shield, which I do. That'll miss. Okay. As the frog leaps out of the water and grabs your shield with its tongue, uh, I'm going to say for the sake of this, roll a just a, I'm a contesting strength check for, for me. Okay. Uh, 18. Okay, yeah, you beat it out. It almost takes your shield. Like you, it happens so quickly that it almost swallows your shield as it plunges back into the water. Task, another one jumps out. E. Uh, that's cocked. Would I get to attack it for being ready to? No one said I'm readying attack. Everyone's just like we're standing I, by, and I'm like, I okay. said I, I said I was readying attack in case something leapt out to attack. You have to specify. Like that's okay. yeah. Sorry. Uh, task, that is going to be 20 to hit you. Yeah, it hits. Okay, that's going to be, uh... Wait that's going to be 10 points of piercing damage. Ouch. Okay. And that is going to be, uh, another 8 points of poison damage, unless you're immune. And you are now considered grappled. So you guys watch as this frog bursts out grabs task and plunges back into the water task all you see is just a swirling brown water with bubbles around you as you're yanked into the water everybody roll initiative for me really quick task! oh boy here we go boy. Hmm, hmm, hmm. nine <laughs> 22 14 15 also 22 15 oh all righty Same piece of paper. I gotta grab one second. I gotta grab a notebook because that previous fight. This fucking music. Just because we 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 glossed over it and I had a joke come in mind, so this is. I recognize this will not be as funny because it's about ten minutes too late. But uh, I'm Seika the Sailor Man. Don't you pity laugh me, Bosco? Wow, ah, Tidus ah, laugh out of here. Ah, Why is that? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I just found it so amusing. Well, blow me down. <laughs> Great, cool, awesome. I go out of my way to recognize it won't be funny now, and everyone still gives me a hard time. You suck, Welcome uh, to the I Unexpectables. Mean, I don't have to you sit you for this. I could stand. <laughs> Mark, this is just normal. This is a Discord call for us. I know. Mm -hmm. Really, though. You make it sound like I mistreat you so badly. I do, I do. but it's constant. Yeah. No, I know. I, 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 no, I'll, I'll admit, guys. I, I really think Bosco's being sus. I think we should kick him out. Yes. And Bosco's I just talking. want you. I just want you to know that yes, I did kill that motherfucker, and I would do it again. Get him out! All right, Seika, you are up first as you see this happen. Uh, whatever I would need to do to pull the boat to a stop, I will pull the boat to a stop. Okay, that will be a vehicle check. So go ahead and roll I'll your wisdom stop, again. Stop, baby. Nope. <laughs> well, there's only way to stop this boat, and it's by not worrying about it anymore. You let go of the uh, any of the controls of the boat. Thanks. It's not fast water, so you guys are fine, but you let go of the boat. You have your action, your bonus action, and your movement. Um, Because you come to the conclusion that, ah, fuck this. <laughs> like, you don't care. Do we have an Are anchor? any of the frogs still visible? You cannot see them. They dipped underneath the water. Well, I'm certainly not jumping into the water. Uh, I will just move 
uh, into a defensive stance in front of Greckles. Okay. So you want to hold your action? Yes. Okay. This is going to get interesting. All right. So what will trigger? What what is the action you are holding, and what is going to trigger that action? Uh, if anything comes towards him, if it's a projectile, I will prepare to uh, deflect it, and if it is not, uh, I will intercept attempt it. to move in front and intercept. It. Okay. You want to move in front of it if it shows up, and if it if it throws a projectile. Okay. You kind of had to choose one or the other. Okay. I'll let it slide for this time, but I just will in, say in move the future. in front then, because I don't know if any projectiles. Okay. Are even well, you could you could attempt to block. I'll just say you're going to attempt to a block or stop an attack. That would be probably yeah, the better, yeah. easier thing to do. Okay. All right, that is Seika's turn. Task, you are underwater. You see bubbles and you are grappled. What do you want to do? Casting haste on myself. Okay. You are now hasted. That takes your action. As an action, uh, you get an additional action on each of your turns. That action can be used to attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. Okay. I want to fucking get out of this shit. Also, I get a plus two to AC and have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay, so you want to use your acrobatics to get out? Well, you yes. technically. So that, because you don't have to use your strength. So this is contesting to get out of the grapple, so go ahead and roll. With advantage. Uh, no advantage because it's not oh, wait, a saving throw. Athletics, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, athletics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleh, bleh, no bleh, advantage because it's not a saving throw. It's a, oh, you're fine. You're totally fine. You manage to like take a knife and almost like crocodile Dundee style, like like slice off the tongue that's grabbed you, and you float to the surface and immediately <gasps> you hit air as the rest of the party is looking down at you from the boat. Fucking hell. Uh, all right. Uh, move action. Get the fuck back on the boat. All right. Use your move action to climb back up on the boot with boat, which is half of your action, but it's easy enough to do. The boot. Uh. Half my action? Okay, so... It's half your movement to get on the boat, because oh, climbing is it's half your movement, okay. yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, my one action was to disengage, and my other action was to cast haste, so my movement... I'm done. Well, your action was to escape, so there was no disengage. Oh. But you okay. could move away, right? He did, yeah. He absolutely did. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, do I have an attack? You don't know. They had nothing attacked you, so you're not sure. They might not even notice you escaped. Is All there... Right. Okay. Sorry, what was that? You want clarification? Sorry. Oh, no, 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 it, no, no. I was... It's, I was, a, I was... It's, a, it's a slurry and a mess down there, so you actually... There's no visuals. It's really hard to see, so... Can I ready action to fire? Uh, you already used all your actions for your round, so you can't ready Okay, action. then I'm done. I'm, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. All right. It is now froggy time. That is how I've written it down, because that's the best way to write this down. <laughs> uh... So, it's frog time. You notice now bursting from the water are the two bullywugs. They are mounted on giant frogs. Uh, they are armed and they have, uh, I think they have spears. Uh, they sure do have spears. Uh, one launches from the water is going to attack Greckles with a spear by throwing it as they leap out of the water. So Seika, your held action is going to trigger. What would you like to do to attempt to stop this, this spear that's coming in? Well, as my attempt uh, was to move in place, uh, I'm going to take the attack, and if okay. it hits me, I uh, will use deflect missiles. Yee! Okay. Nice. Uh, that is definitely going to hit. Uh, cool. That is going to be an 18. I believe that should hit That you. does hit, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that is an 18. Um, are you going to attempt to deflect missiles? Well, so I, I take the damage, and then I will roll a d10 plus 3 plus four no wait hold on sorry plus my monk level so <laughs> so d10 plus 14 to uh, or 13 to uh reduce the damage but i have to take so the it, damage first it's five points of piercing damage as it throws the spear at you so i could roll a nat one and reduce the damage to zero i believe you have to roll okay so i gotta remember this rule we don't play with monks very often fair it says when you when you uh okay uh, you can use your reaction to deflect or catch the missile when you are hit by a ranged weapon attack. When you do so, the damage you take from the attack is reduced by 1d10 plus your dex plus your monk level. Okay, so roll a 1d10. Because you just took, you took uh, 5 damage here from this. Well, oh, oh you're, yeah. you're oh, fine. There we go. <laughs> so okay. it then says if you reduce the damage to zero, you can catch the missile if it is small enough for you to hold in one hand and you have at least one hand free. Yeah, this thing is small. These creatures are small. Okay, so I'm gonna so catch you, it, and then I'm gonna spend a key point. Size, but it's a it's a spear. You grab it. You grab it. I will spend a key point uh, to throw it back. Okay. Nice. 
Uh, so I guess just a ranged attack, yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Which... Regardless of weapon proficiency, it still counts it should with still be proficiency. Plus seven, because I have proficiency. So I'm just going to do this. Oh just my god. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that right. hits. That Fuck hits. Fuck this guy. <laughs> so I don't know what the damage is, but. Uh, it is a spear, so that's going to oh, be. Oh, the missile counts as a monk weapon for the attack. Yes. So add damage? Add dex. So it's 1d6 plus your dexterity modifier. This is fun. <laughs> Minimum damage. Oh. Oh, hey. It was cool so, though. Hey, it <laughs> rule of cool. cool. Rule of cool. You guys watch as this like this this giant frog leaps from the water and the rider turns and throws a spear and Psycho without even blinking grabs it, spins it around and force palms it into him instantly. Nice. <laughs> as they crash back into the water. Uh, the other one on the other side is going to throw a spear at... I'm going to say it's going to throw a spear at... Uh, I'm going to say Borky. He's a big target. Uh-oh. Uh, wow, we're rolling really well. Thanks, Die Hard Dice. Uh, that's going to be a 22. <laughs> or no, no, sorry. 21 to hit, Borky. 20 wins. <laughs> oh. You take two points of piercing damage as you're reading your book and they just, like, smack your book out of your hands with the spear. <sighs> Okay, well, now it's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> as, as they crash back into the water, they are kind of hidden, but you can see them. But attacks to them are going to be with disadvantage because they're under the water, and it's any 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 weapon type that doesn't do well underwater is going to have disadvantage. So. Okay, I'm going to... What about spells? What's this? Oh, spells oh, won't, no. Whose turn is it? Uh, it is now Borky. It is now your turn. Okay, Borky would like to shove his face in the water and try to find the nearest one and do intimidating presses to get it yellow. <laughs> Frog and rage. Um, sure. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, that's gonna be a seventeen, unfortunately. I. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they're not faced by my intimidating presence. <laughs> oh my god. That would have been really cool if that worked, because that... Oh, yes. I can't, I can't say why, I can't say why, but that would have been very interesting. I mean, we um, just need one of the big one's lungs, right? Quick, panic! Can you talk, frog? I could, but it seems like it'd be a waste. All right, Borky, you have your bonus action. Bonus action, uh, okay. Um, okay, where's, is Task above water yet or is he still below? Yeah, water? Task is the in boat. the boat. Task got out, of, yeah. Task is also like going super fast. Like it looks like he's <laughs> fast forwarded right now. Who gave him coffee? Borky tries to aim it. Cause Borky's pulls out, gripples. Depth charge! <laughs> that takes an action to activate, unfortunately. Next turn! <laughs> okay, that ends your turn. Charge, my lord. Borky's just mid throw with the with with gripples now. Remy, it is now your turn. The boat is floating gently, but it's slightly turning. It's not going to run into anything. It's completely fine. You guys are in open water, um, nice. but it is now your turn. Awesome. Uh, I am going to ready action booming blade for the next thing that comes up out of this damn water. Okay, so something comes within five feet of you, booming blade. Correct. Okay, good to know. Greckles, it is now your turn. Oh boy. Um Yeah, screw it. Um you'll see you'll see Greckles clasping in a in a mudra uh as he shouts Bushinotsuts! as he casts mirror image. Uh his form uh moving quicker and quicker and quicker as it splits into four different images. Oh god, there's no room on this boat. Um or can't ready the real question. Can't ready an action with an action. Um, he's gonna call out, uh, "Fight or flee." That that's a question for everyone. Just just just. Oh, I'll respond. Uh, do we I, we normally have to wait till okay. our turn, so I'll respond yeah, if I can. On your turns. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's, that's turn. All right, Seika, it's now your turn. Seika, we are at a disadvantage, Denka. And I will once again hold action to defend my lord. Okay. I feel like I got skipped over. Defending you, my lord. Did Wait, you yeah, what the? F over? Oh, I, you did. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. 
I didn't write you down. Oh, I'm off my raw. I'm guys. I'm First so my off. bonus I'm action. Sorry. Now my whole turn. Bro, you don't even get a turn. <laughs> fuck your Bro. bonus action. Who the Was fuck panic are ever you? Even really here. <laughs> oh, fuck panic. I, I'm oh. panic now. Fuck off. Fuck. Fuck panic. Grim tongue. Um, you would have been after board key panic. Okay. Oh man. Yeah. Panic McFly faded out of the picture. Because Remy. Sorry, I just want to double check here. Remy. <laughs> Uh, no, Sorry. he would have been after me. He's actually, this would have been him because he's 14. Oh, I was okay. Hey, guys, okay. what's good? Hey, it's your turn. Um, all right. sorry. I'm sorry, Connor. I'm really sorry about that. I'm you're right. You guys. Uh, what to do? So is Task still in the water or is he? No, he's no, fine. He's out. Boat. Yeah. All right. I'm back on um, the boat and I cast it haste on myself. So I'm going fucking supernova right now. So you said this boat, this, this folding boat isn't a regular folding boat. It's slightly smaller. It, it can fit maybe like 10 people at most, and it's like a little sailboat. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just, just trying to make sure I've got everything set up here. So we are surrounded by bullywugs and much larger frogs. We don't you know see, what frog hemis look like. So far, you've seen two of these little frog guys riding on the backs of giant frogs. Yes, you've seen two of them hop out of the water in sequence. And those are frog hemoths? That's what we're looking for? Those are frog people. You don't know what the frog hemoth looks like, so... That's what I was asking. Um, so... <laughs> can I see any of the any of the little frog people? No, they're diving underneath the water and, like, kicking up dirt to hide their presence. It's very deliberate. But you can't... You know, you got, you know generally what location they're in, but uh, <laughs> any attack that requires, you know, to see them will be at disadvantage. So anything like, you know, like a regular ranged attack. Okay, hang on, I'm just gonna... You're, you're laughing and I'm scared as a DM. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so the second I see one of these little frog guys pop up out of the water, I'm going to cast a spell on them. Okay, so when you see any of them, you're going to cast a spell on them. Yep. Okay, so now we're back in order. Uh, we're at task, it's now your turn. Ready action when one of these fuck... Ready action to let go all three attacks as soon as I fucking see something. But okay. before I do that, I am going to use my bonus action to lightning arrow. Okay, so we looked into this. Every time you use lightning arrow, it does cost a spell slot to use it. So you have to recast it each time. I want to hit this fucker at least once. So okay. yeah, that, I just want to, I want to hit him at least once and then I can let loose with every other arrow I now, have. Now, just to clarify people's held actions, are we aiming for the frogs they're riding on or the riders? I am the rider. I'm going okay. for the rider. I know you're aiming for the rider. You're going for the rider too. Okay. All right, good. It is now froggy time. Froggy time! Froggy time! Froggy time. Oh! So, one bursts out of the water on one side. Um, so, all anyone who is aiming to do damage, your things are now triggered. Panic, yours is on the other side. So, the other frog. Okay. Oh, yeah. So anyone who's unleashing attacks, do so now. Blah, blah, do blah, so blah, now. Blah, blah, blah. All right. I have so, three attacks because of Remy, his. seven seven Tegan. That hits. Hell yeah! Let's do some damage. So I got six plus a D eight. Nice. Sixteen. And, and, this is the guy who has the spear in his chest. Well, hell yeah! And this but is now the. And this is now the frog that's dead. As you strike it and slash it. Let go. In half. Uh, the giant toad, uh, the giant frog, not having a rider, lands on the deck of the ship and like rocks the boat as it has no guidance anymore and looks lost. Huh? <laughs> Alrighty, anybody else want to attack the giant frog? I can't. Held action. Uh, that would be. Task, I task hasn't shot yet. I, I yeah, haven't shot the rider shot yet. Okay, so you want to shot? You want to shoot the other rider then? You want to kill yes. him? Okay. I, I, I want to try. All right, so the other one, Ryder, bursts out as well. Go ahead and roll your attack. I did, it's 16. Okay, roll damage then, six All right, well, th th well, that's six, then electric damage I didn't do yet. Okay. Oh, no. So, so lightning arrow allows me to bu 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 boopy, da da da. It is 2d8 lightning damage. Okay. He has to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. That's wrong. That is completely wrong. Uh, if the attack hits, it takes yeah, 40 lightning damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a hit. 
So you want to know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? <laughs> Same thing, Same thing that happens to out. everything Josh, else. We, 19. <laughs> we didn't dead. Ride. Just dead. Both the riders are now dead as the other giant frog lands on the boat as well, unguided. Woo! Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, guys, we killed him. I, uh, I you're still in combat. You got two giant frogs. Yeah, I, I still have two so, other shots, by the way. That was we your held action. Our... When oh, you do a held around. action, you only get one attack. You, you don't one get attack, multiple yep. attacks. Yeah. Even with even, haste, even, it is specifically one. Oh, yeah, right. even extra, one attack. Extra, yeah. attack. extra attack specifies on your turn. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. And now it oh. is panic. And now it is your turn. There's just two giant frogs on your ship. Shit. Uh, okay. All right. Move, move it, people. Uh, I'm going gonna, to. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say anything. I just things. I'm a DM. Things did not go as I thought they would go, and now I'm in a bit of a loss. So anyway, <laughs> continue. We got two giant frogs in the boat. Just... Well, uh, more then... like I probably wasted my time making an NPC that just died, but it's okay. No! Oh, no! What are you doing, well, Connor? He shouldn't have fucking. Now attacked. I feel like an asshole, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, their first attempt at to be fair, they're trying to, to kill you. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, so. I'm not that upset. They, they to be yeah, fair, they're really, they're they're really, 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 he was on the riverbank the whole time, Monty. He was on the riverbank. Yeah, so really, you did this to yourself, and we're not I at fault here at all. I, I did this to myself, yeah. Anyway, what are you doing, Tass? Or, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, Panic. Wow. There are no riders, so technically, technically your your held action won't go off because the yeah. rider's dead, so that's just a waste fair. of a held action, unfortunately. Uh, that's fair enough. All right. Um, right. I'm going to... It's not your there, turn. The, you said it was my turn. No, no, it's not. I said your held action does it. Like, we were talking about your held action. It doesn't go off because he's yeah, dead. Yeah, those were all the held actions. Yeah, so we're just running through the held actions because it's still technically the frog's turn, and it's there are still, still two living frogs. All right. Uh, so, sorry. So, Task killed him way too hard. I'm sorry. Uh, the first giant frog is going to go for you, Seika. Say, Come at me, oh. frog. Uh, that frog. is going to be... This is nice in this act jump between two different staff blocks. That is going to be a 18 to hit. Stop hitting me! Yeah, that hit. Sorry, welcome no. to being level 10. Wait, you're level uh, 10? That's level going 10. to be seven points of piercing damage. Ow. Uh, and two points of poison damage, and you are now grappled. Uh, I do have immunity to poison. Oh! Well then, you're not. You don't. You don't take two damage of poison damage. My boy. Wow. But I am still grappled. You are still grappled. You are in the mouth of a frog. Frog's got a hot tongue, yo. The frog is it like it takes Psyche and like kind of sucks in half of Psycho's body. You can see just like steam coming out of the mouth. <laughs> this Important was a bad question. decision. <laughs> Important question: Which half? Uh, it is your 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 leg half because you kind of like okay. turned and it they grabbed your like your it basically grabbed you by the butt and like pulled you inwards and your legs went in first. I have become frog tar. Got it. Yeah. Uh, all right. The second giant frog. Who's moving the most? That's a good question. Um. I. You know what? I'm gonna say it's gonna go for. I'm just gonna randomly roll a d6 and see who it's gonna hit because I can do. Oh, this is gonna be great. We're getting Kona Suba real hard. <laughs> Come at me, fruit. Not again. Panic! You're number five. No! Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is panic. Uh, that's a 10. That's completely gonna miss. Nope. <laughs> Panic's just standing still and it flies right by him. <laughs> you just kind of like sidestep a little oh, bit. Oh, hello. All right, hell that, ends, the end, that ends the giant frog's turn. Borky, it is now your turn. You've been boarded. Barky would like to do a grapple check on that, uh, because Barky's gonna suplex that frog! Yes! <laughs> okay, which frog are you suplexing? The one that's got Seiko or the one that's just attacking Panic? The one that's attacking the talent! Wait. Which one wow. is that? That's wow, the one that's going after Panics. Oh, okay. Oh. So if he is he, he please don't do it through the boat, because that that'd be bad. No, 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 off the boat. Okay, is this frog, by <laughs> okay. the way? Go no. ahead, make a contested strength check. That's what we're gonna start with. So, uh, contested athletics, so so use athletics. Get off my boat! 13! It rolled an 18, a natural 18 plus 2, so 20, soft 20. I'm sorry. Ah, as, you go to, as, as you go to grab it, it's like slips out of your grip because it's very slimy. 
Um, so that's your first attack. So unfortunately, that 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 fails. Bend with your legs. Do it again. I'd like to try again, but bend with my legs this time. All that's right, bend with your legs this time. <laughs> Not lift with your legs, but bend with your legs. Ten. Fuck. Six. I rolled a six. I rolled a four. Yeah. Plus two. yeah! <laughs> All right. You grab the. How do you want to suplex the giant frog? Bork, it just looks like Borky's grabbing it and jumping off the boat. It doesn't look very fancy. <laughs> okay. Well, fucking belly to belly. <laughs> belly to belly. Just didn't grab eat me, right? Yeah, ah! this is the other one. Okay. You watch as <laughs> Borky up. like you walk, you watch as Borky grabs the giant frog and like just jumps off the boat with it and slams it into the water. Uh, go ho go ahead and roll a D four plus your strength bonus. <clears throat> uh, plus four. Oh, it's so plus, plus, plus four. four. So roll a D four plus four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eight points of damage. Eight points nice. of damage to the frog. Very nice. As you plunge it over the side, your legs like stay on the edge of the boat. So as Borky does this, like the entire boat buckles to the starboard side. Oh. Uh, but as he lets go of his arms, the frog is like gone. You don't know where it's gone. It's in the water somewhere. Ah! I shit. Ah! <laughs> Borky. All right. Remy, it is now your turn. Woo! I'm gonna stab the frog on the deck. All right, the one that's got Seika? Yeah, yep, time to booming blade the crap out of it. Okay, uh, go ahead. It's not area of hit. effect, is it? It is not. Okay. You're fine. I would never. I would yes, never. Would. Yes. yes, I would. He didn't ask how big uh, the room was for the fireball. That's gonna be a soft, soft nine to hit. That misses. As you go to swing, like your your sword glides against the smooth, slimy skin. Like you try to avoid hitting Seika as you swing, and it just doesn't purchase, it doesn't cut in. So that didn't even go off, so I just get my second attack now. Great. Awesome. That ruined everything I wanted to do! 17. That hits. Woohoo! 10. Nice. Oh. That's a decent amount of damage right there. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, hey, Monty? Yeah? Action surge. Oh! Yeah, go ahead. Oh! Oh! Let's do it. Run it, run it back. Two, 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 two more hits. All right, here we go. Uh, that 24. Hits. That hits. So this will be my Blooming Blade. Uh, that's seven plus uh, 10. So seven, 10 total. 10 totals, that's an additional three. Yep, and then the bonus action slice of the sword is gonna be natural. Oh. 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 Sucks, doesn't it? As you go to swing, the frog that's already got like it, it's literally got Seika in the side of his mouth like a like a cigarette. Yeah. It sticks out its tongue again, and as you go to swing, your sword just takes your sword, and your sword is just gone. It's inside of the frog somewhere. <laughs> like it's just like it happens in like one frame of an like two frames of animation. It's like thunk, gone, and it's just like oh, you are now Mon Monty, Mon Monty. I hate to do this to you. It's gonna swallow the sword, and because this is a free action, I don't even need an action to do it. He's gonna hold out his hand and the sword is immediately back in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he just kind of looks disappointed at the frog. The frog's just got <laughs> wise looking that two is, different directions. Right, exactly. that, is, that, is, that is turn. With a cigar for some reason. <laughs> that is turn. All right. Uh, panic, it is now your turn. Is it? Yeah. Okay then. Don't bully me, uh, dude. I'm trying. I'm having a good day. <laughs> it's a lot uh, of people to manage. All right. So. Uh, this frog still ha is still on the boat and still has Seika in its mouth, right? It sure yeah. does. Okay. Um, it's not just that its its mouth is clamping around it. It's also got like a sticky tongue on him as well. Yeah, he does. It's yeah. just more, more for flavor than so anything. It's not an ability. Okay. It's, it's just like uh, In that case, uh, Panic's eyes is go are going to flash white uh, and power is going to flood from his mind uh and i cast telekinesis Ooh. Oh, shit. okay uh, and i will attempt to lift the frogo up off the ship okay uh seika's going with him though because seika's in his mouth that's true that's fine okay <laughs> that yeah okay. that's fine uh, what, is, okay. what is the saving throw for that? Is it? Uh, not a saving throw. It's a, it's contested strength versus okay. my charisma. Uh, these things are fairly strong. And but really is pretty charismatic. Oh, yeah, I'm fairly charismatic. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Yeah. 
13. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's going to be, fail. that's a 16 from the frog, unfortunately. You rolled a 14 it. plus two, I'm sorry. That's a, that's a bagoof right there. As uh, you, as you like, you use and core less the arcane power as you flex your hands upward and the frog just looks at you and blinks twice. He's going full Come sauce on. boss right now. Come on, you fat fuck. <laughs> as you as you try and lift it, you notice that like its feet are like kind of like sucking into the ground, and like the entire ship is kind of like shaking just a little bit as the frog is just like refusing to move. <laughs> Trust me, I have a frog. When they defy you, you feel very insulted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least at least it's at least it's not peeing on the boat, you know. That's true. That is uh, true. You are lucky. As, as a bonus action, I am going to then use the use of my bark inspiration to. Activate Mantle of Inspiration, and all my crewmates are going to get 11 temporary HP and be able to move as a reaction. I can't move. Yeah, you can. Your movement is zero, unfortunately. Is there but anywhere to move on this boat? Not really. I'm just playing it out that you all are within attack range of the frog, yeah. and the frog is... Yeah, I'm going to make sure I'm right up in this frog's face so it can't take say go out of the big. water. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a big frog. Ladies and gentlemen, I, think... I have a dumb idea. Actually, uh, that's the worst thing to say when somebody's I grappled. dumb ideas. Uh, that brings me to Panic, is that the end of your turn? Yes, it is. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Greckles just kind of looks at the situation, saunters over to the back end of the frog, and, uh, just blade it right up. All right, good roll to hit. 10,000 years of death! Pretty much. 20... That absolutely hits, yeah. Aw, beans. Can I, oh, do I get, do I get oh. sneak since this thing is just surrounded? You absolutely do, yes. Thank oh, come on, you. another 20, another 20 bomb. God. 20 bomb. Ah, <laughs> uh, 20, God, 28, 28 damage. That is 28 damage. How do you want to kill it? Yes! Yeah. Dang it, I was going to do something cool, too. Do you want to do a cool thing? No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, no, this, actually, narratively, this makes so much sense. Yeah, play it. So, so Greckles, Greckles goes in from behind, goes underneath the belly, cuts up through, uh, up to the mouth through the tongue, so its lower jaw just kind of flaps open, lets Seika go as it just kind of slumps and rolls off the boat, if the if it would uh, roll uh, off the boat. Yeah, you just we, kick we, it off the side of the boat and it just splushes into the water. We might have needed that. Well, I, that's, could use, I could use telekinesis. If that was the last one, was that the last one? That was definitely the last one. I, I, the other, I, one, I, the I, other I, one that got suplexed swam away because it was sad because it got suplexed and it was not. <laughs> yeah, Borky! If, if we need it, if someone says something, I still have con I still have concentration on telekinesis. Okay. Uh, I'd like panic. to keep it. Mm. Make sure that doesn't float down the river, please. Okay, I lift it up and I bring it towards the boat. Do we uh, even know this is what we need? Boat. No, that's kind of the problem. Until we know, we shouldn't get rid of it. I actually like frog. Well, maybe we should just harvest harvest it of what we need and then get rid of the rest. It's gonna weigh us down. I are we, is this. Are we is this even the frog Emeth? I mean, it's pretty big. Do any of us even know? Remind me again what we needed from this creature. We need two lungs. Right. Task, can you cut out this thing's lungs so we have them and then we'll dispose of the body? We don't even know if this thing is a frog Emeth, though. I'm, Task is going to use all three of his turns to handle animal. Actually, it's dead. Question, Monty. It's, no, it's, the... it's totally dead. Oh, the other one. I, I thought the Monty. one fucking... The, the other one so, swam away. It got super yeah. tough. Uh, basically, so above game, I'm Greco's made a really good point. So if we cut the lungs out and keep them, we'll have them if we need them and then toss we, the body. We Sorry. have no idea if this is what we needed. Monty? Yeah? Uh, important point of clarification. Mm -hmm. Do I need two lungs for each potion? It's not for potions. Uh, you actually... So for each part of the uh, items you need, the drow blood it needs to be congealed into a potion. The frog lungs need to be uh, basically used as a item to create a, a breathing apparatus okay, to, to breathe underwater. Of water breathing. That's my and then okay. uh, the frost salamander skin needs to be tailored into cloaks. So each each one requires a different way of oh. creating so an object. Yeah. With knowing that now there are six people going instead of two, do I need mm -hmm. more lungs? No, it, it okay. requires just the, the the fleshy part. It doesn't require the lungs, but Looking at this creature, it doesn't look like the lungs inside would be big enough for even, like, a one, like maybe one person, but that doesn't seem right in your head. I'm going to say anyone who wants to, make a nature check. Sure. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. 14. 17. Nine. Seven. Yeah, this is it, all right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm all yep. over it. 14. Uh, Borky. Oh, my voice just cracked. Did you hear it? Borky, yeah, it. Task, and Panic. As you guys look at this creature, this is a natural frog. This is a this is a giant frog. Um, they do exist. They're just really, really big frogs. Uh, they are hmm. beasts. They are not monstrosities. And Iyer specifically said that frogamops are monstrosities. Additionally, he specified that they have three eyes on a stalk and had like like tentacles. And these do not fit that what? description at all. Yeah, that's yeah. not a frog at all. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, yeah. So we would, so we would have known that ahead of time. Yeah, you guys know that these are oh, definitely not. Asked, oh, yeah. okay. Then yeah, then check the body. Fuck it. Yeah. Did you ask that earlier? I might have. I'm sorry. I might have. Does does, right. does does no, does task does task want any of the meat or anything like that before we kick it? No. I what I want to know is is, ah, fuck. I will I, say this. I will say this. Willow would probably appreciate the eyeballs of the frog because okay, sure. well, before I do that, this is gonna be so fucking dumb because. In in my fucking idea of how I'm narrating task, he's just like, this was too, too easy. So I kind of want to see if there's a chance to revive one of the riders. You do what? We killed the shit out of them and they're, they're in the water. Yeah, they're gone. They were in the water. You shot uh, them in the water and fine, they're, they're, they're All right. completely I'm gone. Gonna, I'm sorry. No, that was a good hard. idea. It's just, I don't, we don't have the resurrect we NPC murder, spell. Uh, one of them is Ash, and the other one, like, got sliced in half. I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> like, sorry, buddy. I killed Monty's NPC. Hashtag blame Bosco. Fuck just stick him back like a holding dog. They him both back, had like, names. Dog. They just both had put names. some money. Money. <laughs> worse. Money, when we wrap up, you can tell us all about him. Sure. Anyway. All right, uh, the Jackie ship, by the way, is now floating in, like, donuts now. <laughs> oh. Oh, never mind. A nat one, so fuck it. Ooh. It's it's pretty messed up. You get the eyes; they're easy enough. But you're not sure if they're going to be usable for Willow. That's a question for her. But you do manage to get the eyes. But everything else is just like, first of all, it's all burnt inside, which is great. <laughs> um, and and Greco's properly dissected this thing. It is it is like it is looking like, like a, a seventh high... grade science class. <laughs> yeah, that thing is is. Done. So you guys kind of well, kick off. I guess off we just the... fucking move along I, the trail then, I, and then if we, yeah. we see more of these things, we got a lot of explaining I, to do. I, I, I lift I, it up I, and I sort of make it do a little bit of a dance before I just <laughs> plop it in. <laughs> can, can, can I say something about Cain real quick? Sure, everybody. It, yeah. in, in the 100, almost 150 episodes of playing this game with you wonderful people, I never have once gone. Why did we attack them? This is the first for me. And I really they did attack attacked you. first. They, they attacked, attacked us. You. It was yeah, they attacked you guys. Yeah, fuck them. Why don't if we, Monty, why don't we win Monty the mobile with said, kisses? All right, guys. If Monty hadn't Monty said anything, we would have never felt this way. Exactly. It's if Monty true. had said yeah. nothing, we wouldn't have cared. We were just remember the last the time we were on a boat, guys? We were attacked and yeah, captured. Yeah, and remember. And, and remember. I, you were thrown overboard, and I was imprisoned. This and is remember, fair. Kill them. The last time I pulled this was when you guys fought all those orcs and everything. Yeah, time fuck that shit. If we're attacked name. on the sea, they die. All right, well, I guess we just anyway. fucking go down the river more then. Remember, remember, everything is a what-if scenario. So if you change yeah, it, yeah. that's that's because that's on me. Anyway, you guys, I, who's who's manning the boat? I guess uh, Seiko. Sailor Seiko will do it. Uh, uh, I, could, uh, I, could, and I, I could help and him I out. I could, I could, um, I still have telekinesis up for, for 10 minutes, so yeah, I could... Sure direct the boat and i can telekinesis says that i can manipulate delicate stuff with okay. precision so, so like i can yeah i'll just be i'll just be manning it just like woo, like a puppet okay. string sort of thing so take you don't have to really do anything you just kind of stand cool. there as panic takes control of the boat you guys turn off sort of this um outlet to the to the like the little kind of creek river you guys are running in and you see a massive lake like just huge lake with all sorts of lily pads and like underwater plants and the water here is clear like it's almost crystal clear and you can see all these twisting lakeweed plants and various swimming frogs and herons and cranes that are kind of landing in the water and fishing you see large catfish kind of swimming past the boat and you see off on the horizon a crested island in the center of the water where you see wooden and stone walls with torches as you see a small village up ahead in the middle of this swampy lakeland. 
And that is where we're going to end our session for tonight. All right, we got a oh, way to be bad you. guys. <laughs> Are we the baddies? We we're not the baddies. Are the baddies. You think no, bad? Fuck off. That's not. That's not. We're not bad guys. They Bye, fucking attacked Austin. us. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Love you. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Goodbye, they Austin. Didn't, they didn't even attempt diplomacy. This they is did. not. They were just like. Yeah. And also, they had like what, like ten HP tops, like one hit, and they were gone. They uh over they underestimated you guys a little bit. I'll say that. Guys, well they go they go learn one, today. This 100? is episode one forty. One forty. Yeah, it is yeah. one forty. Nice. One forty. God damn, Connor. Where can yeah. they find you? Uh, they can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, myself and a couple of other people, notably uh, Twitch.tv slash. Varric Kaldun, uh, Sailor Midgard, Faceless Mike, and myself, uh, we're all doing a September Dead House Sonata uh, giveaway for Founders Packs. Uh, for every 15 subscribers that we all get, we'll be giving away one Founders Pack uh, at the end of September. And so far, we have quite a few to give away. And thank you all so much for stopping by and re-upping your subs and gifting subs. They've been way more successful than I ever would have dreamed. So thank you all so much. Uh, yeah, stop on by, uh, drop some subs if you want a free founder or want to enter a chance to win a free founders pack, I should say. Perfect. Hey, mm -hmm. Bosco, where can they find you, man? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Tomorrow, Transformers the 17th. That's when G1 was released a million years ago. So we're going to watch the new show with some of the actors, and we're going to give away some toys. You should check it out because all the proceeds go to a good cause. So, yeah, that's happening tomorrow, Friday. It's wrestling. You know what that's all about. Also, for those, if you, if you somehow missed it the first two times, I'm running Ravenloft in October with a bunch of crazy <laughs> cats, some of whom are in this call. So if you want to see me kick the crap out of people, you should come watch it. Uh. <laughs> Poor Zito. Oh. Zito, where can they find you? <laughs> Even the crap get kicked out of a month. <laughs> yeah, getting, getting my ass kicked on Saturdays, I fucking suppose. <laughs> uh. Uh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and the Ever Ingen Almanac on Patreon. Uh, Patreon uh, is getting a lot of artwork done for it. We're gonna have a uh, commissions uh, get done for it pretty soon. Uh, unfortunately, I have to drop the Hanu, which I was working on because I just don't like how they're turning out. So sunken cost fallacy for two months, but it is transforming into something brand new called the Pharaoh, which is going to be Patreon only, and it lets you play as a cactus person. Uh, beyond that, so, so you can be a cactus guy. A cacti, yes. Wow. A cacti. Uh, so you can also catch me on stream doing SRB2 cart, uh, marble streams, and a fuck ton of indie games when they show when they so show their heads. So yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, our wonderful guest star Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you and your amazing vocal cords? Well, my vocal cords are not for sale, but uh, you can find me well, at twitch.tv hey, slash Gaming. Yeah. Everything's for sale if you have a gun. Okay. Oh. Well, <laughs> hey, Mark, Mark, everything, everybody's got a price. That is a quote from Gordon Freeman, uh, Freeman's mind. No one get mad at me. <laughs> I can still something. be terrified. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Gaming. That's A-E-O-N Protech Gaming. Uh, I like to play games where I yell at Bosco, whether he's in the game or not. Uh, you can also wow. find me on Twitter at Mark Allen Jr. And on Monday, uh, I will be uh, over on Nut House, and that is spelled G N U T H A U S. I realize I did not spell that last week, so apologies. Good nut. Oh. You can nut find me nut. at Nut House. We also play D and D on that channel as well. Just recently made affiliate, uh, and we're working on getting emotes and stuff for everybody. So come on by. We'd love to have you. Where do they go? That's really tomorrow. awesome. Guys in Goomba. Hey, that's me. That's where can they find you, man? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Gaijin Goomba everywhere else. I have two big announcements for one. Uh, hopefully, literally in exactly one week, my uh, homebrew race, my new homebrew yokai race, the Kappa, will be out and available on DM's Guild. Ooh. Price is going to be the same. Uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of sub races rather than flavored spells, so it's going to be a little different, but still really good. Um, I am also starting a new channel. Um, I'm going to drop this to... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to drop that a couple times there. Um, where 
for so long I've been talking about culture and games and anime specifically, that kind of analysis. This is going to be more on me talking about personal experiences uh, with Japan, with anime, with games. Uh, the first video that I'm putting together is why I'm so pissed off at English in in uh, anime, like like not non-dubbed anime. Let me make that clear. Uh, and how it ties into um, 10 years of repression working uh, in Japan as an English teacher. Uh, I thought so it was about it's, to be in a call-out video. No, no, no. Dubs are fine. Dubs are fine. It's incorporating English into not dubs that I... Oh. Do they do they do they sprinkle English like they do in songs? I know, but do they do that in anime too? <laughs> yes, you need yes, you need do. you need to watch Japan sing so you so you can feel the pain that I feel of wanting oh, to boy. just bash my brain in with a code hook. Um, oh, good. But yeah, but yeah, that's gonna be that. So check that out. Hopefully that'll be up in the next week or so. I do want to have multiple videos ready for it for that release. So yeah, fun times. Monty, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, where I, if you like frogs, I post pictures of frogs there. Oh. <laughs> my frog, Gert, who's gotten huge all of a sudden. Uh, and you can find me uh, on Twitch uh, at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing Final Fantasy. Uh, I said Final Fantasy. I'm so out of it. Like, I'm barely keeping it together. Um, ah, energy. Let's go. Um, Devil May Cry 4. We're starting Devil May Cry 4. I'm putting it on baby mode, so that way I don't get, I don't cry. Because the game is hard. Um, so if you want more wacky Wahoo Pizza Man, we're going to be doing Devil May Cry 4 with Connor. Connor is going to be there, Connor. Hooray! Yay! Um, Wait, and then, and Devil May Cry! Party. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, then, and then on Sunday, uh, we're going to be playing Final Fantasy IX, which is amazing. You should definitely check it out. It's I'm really enjoying streaming uh, Final Fantasy IX. It's, it's an absolute delight. So, yeah. Monty, when you said, I'm sorry, when you said funny Wahoo Pizza Man, I immediately just went, Luigi, I'm motivated. <laughs> yeah. and you can find me at twitch.tv You will not slash... forget this. Sorry. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where there is no MNW tomorrow, no wrestling, because oh. instead at 5 o'clock PST, I'll be over at Stream Forest, are playing Among Us with the entire TFS crew. Hello. <laughs> the question is, how many times will I kill Nick? That's the real question. <laughs> the, the real answer is every time you Bye. have the opportunity. Any opportunity. Any opportunity, apparently. What I did to Malorvik, so I feel you. Uh, See, so next Tuesday, um, we'll, uh, starting with 12 o'clock, we'll be finishing off Alan Wake. Uh, this holiday season, uh, upcoming spooky month, I will be playing Alien Isolation. <laughs> More details will be coming forward about that. Uh, next Friday, Yes, Yes, Love Adventure goes back. Oh, So two horror games one week. That'll be fun. Oh, uh, aside from that, guys, you know, More Among Us is just fun. It's just it's really quick to have games, and you can just zoom in and out. It's a lot of fun. I absolutely have a hoot playing that. Yes, yeah, over at twitch.tv slash... 101. We'll have a proper schedule up very soon here. And a couple of people I want to shout out real fast before we head out here for the night. Lone Wolf Lord, uh, gifting a sub to the chat and also subbing for three months. Thank you so much. Viridian Winner, Romero92. Thank you so much. Romero92 with an extra 500 base. This shouldn't try to kill the party. Also, Monty throws giant poison frog at party. <laughs> <laughs> Kane Time with a thousand bits as well. Thank you so much to Kane Time. Marcus Atera with a 500 bits. You're going to be playing with optional long rest rules because that'd be heavy duty. Farland with 500 bits as well. Really excited for this arc. Takes some bits. And I apparently had, and I didn't notice. Also, hi, guys. Oh, hi. And Arbiter Valu with the 500 bits. Howdy. Oh, never mind. We already did that one. It's, it's Theropods. The, um, the, she says kill them. Oh. And one more, one more last thing. Farland to. with 500 bits. I'll make sure to check out the VOD because time zone's looking forward to this arc. <laughs> and that is it. I have, a, I have a title suggestion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ribbiting Romp. Oh, that's cute. Mm. That is cute. I'm down. Oh, can I can I add one more thing? I'm so sorry I forgot. Go ahead. Yeah, cool. Sorry. Um, this Saturday at 7 p.m. Central, I'm actually going to be playing Pop Up Dungeon. Uh, the devs handcrafted oh. and like like an entire quest line for me to show off on stream. Oh, cool. Um, oh, wow. It's nice. really it is a super. I mean, Zito, you you saw bits of it. Um, yes. It it is it's a um, it's a turn based game where it's like it's very much tabletop, 
Like it's it looks really pristine, but like all the characters are are little origami like box people, and all the mobs are like little images that are stuck onto little pins. It's really cute. From the way I saw it, it looked like a tactics game with a deck builder uh, add on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually had something I needed to mention as well uh, on Saturday. I forget what time it's at, but we are be doing a big marathon uh, for yeah. I believe Hurricane Relief Charity, or. Forest Fires. I actually forget which one it is. I'm so sorry. I've been out of the loop this badly here. But we are watching all of the DBZA movies over at twitch.tv slash stream four star. Uh, we're starting with I don't know what and ending with probably the last one we made. Uh, but yeah, this will be all be for charity. And after that, at some point, MNW. But that's this fun, crazy week we have. But that's it for me here. Anything else we should plug or say to anybody? We love you guys. Uh, we love you guys, yeah. Oh, awesome. I think that's about yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. And sorry, yeah. sorry guys, I was really not 100% here today. I should be better hopefully by next week. It's just a lot's been happening. And it's all good. You did good. Yeah. But I, really I just felt, I honestly, Monty, I just felt bad that we, as a DM, no, dude, I felt I, bad. <laughs> you know what I thought? I'm just like, you know, I'm like, the party likes to make friends. I'm like, you know, they're probably going to kill one of them. And then they're probably going to like, you're probably going to subdue the other one and then ask it a bunch of questions. So I'm like, so I should probably have a character in mind for that. And you just kill both of them. I'm like, never mind. <laughs> like, it, was, it wasn't even like, I wasn't like, no, my thing. I was like, oh, yeah, never mind then. <laughs> like, well, you can just take those NPCs and put them onto a different characters. Yeah, yeah sure. just apply it to Once someone who's already in the dead. village. Yeah, you know, as you do. As you do. Um, <laughs> all right. Who do we want to raid? That's a good question. Who's good up? Question. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've got rabbit and theropod that are. Tennis. Let me see if there's anyone I know. Uh, Bracky's on. Well, we yeah, raided Bracky last time, didn't we? Yeah, um, I got Bracky, Thero. I'd say rabbit or theropod would be my two votes for who I see. No, ther if you do theropod, you can. Everyone's like, you're going to yeah, die. Yeah, that's you're right. going, you're going to die. die. You're, yeah, gonna, you're die. gonna die. That's so ominous and threatening. Yeah, you're do gonna it. die. If you think that's ominous right? and threatening, you're not ready. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Just wait till you start rolling checks that nobody else gets. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome tell, to tell die. Sarah, welcome congratulations! To die. Welcome to die. Welcome, welcome to, to die. die. Welcome. Welcome. That is a welcome die. die. That one's good. That's such a good one. Welcome well done, Zen Linda. <laughs>